screen running. Should be ready to start stream connecting. Okay, looks like it should be going. Let me yeah. refresh my YouTube. It might mine might YouTube? also be acting goofy because it was Watching scheduled. Oh, start streaming less than a minute ago. Hello. This oh, is it working now? It. Is Mark, it working now? Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. It is, so I'm going to share the link, and I actually am in the clan gen server. Oh, nice. So, we're going to go to the project development credits, uh, mod application, there's your three port three didn't edit in clans. Hi, everyone who's joining so far. Uh, I'll pop it up where the person Okie dokie do, and mine's live now as well, I think, although I can't tell the audio levels <laughs> if they're coming through nicely yeah. with both of us. Yeah. I'm gonna need to turn you up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Minimize. Oh, hello, Cupcake Spots. Um, oh! Let us know if there's any audio issues. Mm -hmm. so if we're still trouble troubleshooting. Yeah, let us know if you see anything out of place, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it looks like I am able to do clan sharing. Started a thread. Chat games. Hello, people. People are starting to Hello. filter in. Oh, welcome! Oh, wonderful! Can y'all hear the, the the other voice in there? Can y'all hear Galaxy just fine? Hey, hi, Neptune Draws! Neptune can hear us both on my end. Oh, good, good, good. How about on my end, fam? Can Blue Cake Animation, Ghosty, Stinky Dog, Cupcake Spots, can y'all hear us, hear us okay? a smiley face so i hope that's a good sign audio is hard to hear okay okay i will try to get closer uh rook if you're having issues with audio just remember that um it's capturing your entire desktop audio so if you go down to the bottom corner i'll take a screenshot for you thank you um yeah if you go down to that bottom corner you can actually change which applications have the volume settings so you might want to boost discord is the music playing neptunes if you don't mind my asking because i do have some music lightly playing so if you go to your volume mixer there um I now have one watching. Well, I think the audio is okay, and if like since I don't have music going or anything, if y'all yeah, can just... I do. I I overcomplicated my stream a little bit. Yeah, but since mine um, is just is just uh, me talking and Galaxy talking, if y'all in in the Rook chat can just like yeah. make it a little louder on your end, you know, should be okay. Yeah, could be okay. Yeah, and again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. So, the cool thing with this clan gen, um... Stream. So the cool thing with this clan gen stream, sorry, I was sharing the link in my brain. You're all spaced <laughs> <good>. out. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the cool thing with this is that you guys get to pick which streamer you're going to watch. We're going to have some settings set up so that each clan has the same settings. Um, which is going to be really cool. And then um, I think that if a, ro a cat that has a clan backstory, we're going to auto default that they're from each of our clans. And if that cat dies in each clan, I think we kill off a cat. Is that correct? It's like, so if a new cat joins your clan and their backstory is like they ran away from another clan, then that clan is mine and so then i have to kill off one of my cats and you change the new cat's name to be whatever my cat's name was and vice versa yeah so it's like yeah, they're yeah, moving exactly. around between between clans and then if like yeah. if you ha antagonize another clan on a border patrol that's my clan if you go to war with another clan that's my clan etc yeah 
No, absolutely. So, and that's going to be um, how we go about it. Both of us have set up our Ko-Fi. So if you are wanting to support us in any way or our, our content, please feel free to... Um, oh, we should probably link our Ko-Fi in the description of the videos. Oh. Oh, I did that already. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game. I did not. Also, I apologize if the mics are low on my end. I, I don't know. It's my first time streaming in a long time, and I don't know how to turn them up any higher than they already are. Like, I have them at yeah. the max. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, if my if mine is low, then just turn turn that little volume up on on your end. Because there shouldn't you shouldn't be hearing anything else except for me and Galaxy on on the Rook side. But yes, yeah, if you're on. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna reiterate that if you are in my chat, then that means that you all are in my clan. And if you want to join Galaxy's clan, you have to go over to Galaxy's stream on Galaxy News Channel. Yes. So we're cross clanning it, as it were. <laughs> and one of so, us will yes. have an evil clan. We're gonna flip a coin to find out who. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, I believe your clan is named Fox Clan, correct? Yes, welcome to Fox Clan. We live in scrubby hills and burrows. We we're tunnelers. Mm -hmm. I'm Tide Clan. We live under the bur like uh, so. If you think about it, we're in a cliff face situation where there's a grassy, grassy, rocky area where uh, Fox Clan lives, but underneath on the beach, there's Tide Clan. Tide Clan lives in the shallow beaches where they have to worry about the incoming tide and uh, they live in a cave system underneath so there's tunnels burrows and then there's tide clan which kind of makes use of both their camp situations they have to move camp frequently i suspect based on the tide and weather patterns oh, so if all the tunnels are connected then that would probably lead to conflict between the two clans as tide clan encroaches on fox clan tunnels escaping i tide. imagine so uh -huh, yes uh -huh. yeah, yeah yeah so keep an eye out figure out which clan you want to support and uh we'll start rolling first off i haven't set my clan gen settings so which settings are we using so if you go to settings and info i have mine pulled up here okay uh, we are going to en enable clan page background automatically save every five moons allow okay. mass extinction events like Have... water coming into the cave wink ah. wink yes never retire due to a permanent uh condition i believe yep. that was one of them yep, yep. okay we don't need shaders Lead. or hotkeys but okay. we are allowing leaders to automatically choose the new deputy and we mm. are allowing dead cats to fade away okay uh, save and complete oh. copy of faded cats information i'd like to do that and I would also like to allow warriors and elders uh, to become mediators, because that's a really yeah. cool thing, Definitely. honestly. All right, save those settings. Now, relationship settings. Um, we are allowing um, uh, affairs have... between mate switching. Yep, yep. And uh, I also have relationship uh, values randomized at the start of the clan, of course. Okay, got you. Uh, allow... We're not allowing romance interaction between warriors as apprentices. We feel that is unethical, and we just feel that's too weird. We're also not allowing first cousins. Yeah, incest and, and uh, power dynamics are weird, y'all. Bing bong. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep that off just to make it, you know, easier on our brains to keep track of everything. That's another thing to consider. Um... So, randomized relationship values, allow affairs based on relationships, and then allow couples to birth kittens despite same-sex status. Heck and yeah. allow unmated cats to have offspring, because yeah, you never know where drama. those kits come from. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> That's saved. Um, welcome to Clan Gen! All oh, of the quick, cool credits. Quick, keep... uh, so, sorry to interrupt the, the Clan Gen part, but like for the... the streaming part if you hit start yeah. streaming does it automatically record on youtube uh yes so okay. it should be connected to your youtube i can actually go and check if you are there if you already have people in your chat it is likely already live yay good i, I assume um, so i assume so but yeah it's always good to okay you all if you're worried you can always go into the uh youtube video of that video and see mm -hmm. if it's got the little live icon 
Sounds good. I think it's main menu. Yeah. Yes. So I'll give you an example. I'm actually editing the description to include my Ko-Fi. And when I am editing this video, you will see it has a live icon. I'm just going to send this oh, to you on right. Discord. Thank yeah. you, everyone, for... Uh... <gasps> it is... It is hope! Oh my goodness! Thank you for joining the stream! Oh, Sorry, yeah, FNS, FNS Hope, Hope is someone who I've worked with before uh, in a map, and they're amazing. Check out their work if you can. FNS, or Rue underscore E-N-S F-N-S Hope. Their work is amazing. <laughs> Shout out to, to, to them, because they're amazing. Okay. Sorry for that delay. I just, I was, I didn't expect them to be here, and it's really cool to see them here. Same with Neptune Yay. Draws. Thank you for being a part of the chat. Friendship. Ah. Uh, and I've got oh, your stream. Logan! Hi! I've got your stream pulled up in another window so I can spy on you. Oh, shit. Well, I'm not going to spy. If my chat wants to spy for me, that's a different story. Oh, that's way more fun. I'm going to do that. Okay. Chat. Be, <laughs> that's be what my, I thought about. Be my eyes and ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pay attention to the clan going on. Hopping over here. Oh, look, I stole Ko's caught owl. Look at that. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, no. uh, Rue. Don't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, 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 to over announce your presence. I just really want your channel to blow up because you have such an amazing work. Yeah. Sorry. Bubbles. <laughs> Don't be shy. Well, bubbles are All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. You got <laughs> bubbles. Okay. Fox clan, Fox clan. Okay. Yeah, so, everyone cheer for your favorite clan. Okay, so we're okay. gonna get started and are we gonna read aloud like what our what our biz our cats are and stuff? I think that'd be more fun. Yeah, I think we can each read out our clans and we can choose not to share certain things if oh. it increases drama. Uh huh. Okay. I feel like we can we can see how this goes. As I said, this is a very experimental stream in my description, and it is true. It is very very experimental. Yeah. So keep that in mind, guys. Okay. So we're gonna do classic mode, right? Yep. yep. That one is more randomized, and I noticed that like drama develops quicker. So that's what we're gonna go with. Yeah, Coast uh, Coast Caught Owl says I might be hopping from stream to stream because I can't choose. <laughs> That's fine. No, no worries. Coast Caught Owl, the the main the strat is you pull up both streams at the same time and just mute one of us. Ah, uh, yes, yes, that is the strat. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna set classic mode and I'm going to name my clan. It is Hide Clan. Do you yeah. want to set? <laughs> Jokes on both of you. I'm in both clan. Thanks, Doctor <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> okay, so Tide Clan. Next step. I'm, I'm gonna Fox let you clan. do your stuff. Okay, so I'm yeah. Fox Clan. Let's see what our options are for the leader of Fox Clan. We have Mole Moon, Adult Charismatic Mole Star. That's a that's a sick name. Mm -hmm. Dew Star, an El Charismatic Elder, Tumble Star, Young Adult Loving. That's really cute. Aww. I'm good. Oh, just by the way, oh. from my side, I'm just going to let Rook speak and do Rook's clan first, and then we'll do my clan next, if that makes sense. So yeah. that's why my end is kind of paused. Go ahead, Rook. Okay. And real quick, I just realized this is going to in influence the choice. We need to flip that coin for if, who's going to get the evil clan. That's because right. I will change who I pick as leader based on if we need them to be an evil leader or not. That's right. I am. I'm going to pick Tails. Okay. Uh, do you have a... I can pull up a coin flipper thing? Yeah, I think Google has one. Yeah, coin flip generator. Uh, flip a coin. Here we Hello, Toon Stomp. Welcome to the stream. Currently, we are deciding which clan is going to be the evil clan. Um, you can choose to watch one stream or both feel free to leak uh, lurk oh, in each oh, it's flipping it's flipping you called tails yes i did uh d wh who what does winning mean oh shoot we didn't decide that <laughs> yeah okay well, fl we'll flip it again so if you win okay. you get to be the good clan because winning okay good guys win good guys win okay so okay. which so your heads then okay yeah, so i'm i'm and it's heads, so I'm the good guy, oh, and you're the, you're you're the, the good guy. guys. All right, Evil Clan goes second for picking out its cats. Well, see, this makes sense because Tide Clan is in a constant struggle for survival, so of course they would become more ruthless. Yes. 
They are very ruthless. Yeah, I imagine yeah. they would be, especially if their dens get flooded and they have to leave cats behind. Yes, I could see this being quite problematic. Oh, yeah. right, we forgot. We made a custom rule similar to my last clan, uh, clan gen stream. Every couple moons, I'm going to say four because that's when it auto saves, or five, mm -hmm. five. Yeah, five. Um, we're going to randomly number generate which cat dies, including leaders. Yeah. Leaders, medicine cats are not exempt, they will die. So it'll go from, it'll use the character list, like we did before, if anyone remembers that stream, where one is the cat in the number one slot, and you just count down, if that makes sense. Okay, let me go, all right, let me go back to picking the leader. Let's see what other options are. So we, we saw Mole Star, Dew Star, Tumble Star, Whisper Star, who's an elder, who is bloodthirsty, that's what, promi that's what prompted the evil. Ah, this kid's name is Bite Kit. I kind of love that. Oh, that's so cute! Okay, we got an apricot While well, you're star. at this stage, I am going to sneak on you and see what they look like. Yes, please. But please. only oh, but only because... Uh, yeah, I think the starting I, stuff, we can spy on each other. Because you want to see... I think so, too. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the starting stuff, we can probably do spying. Oh, I've got, <laughs> I've got one called Moor Star, and they literally live on a moor. Oh, my God. That would be really good. Okay, so if got... a cat randomly dies, all their life goes away. If it's at that uh, at that number generation side, side the, the leader will lose all their lives. Because we would consider that like like a massive event. Does that make sense, Rook? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then we've got... Tiger Star or... level death. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, I, which I had one of those in, in Clan Gen. I had a leader in one of my past files who fell off a cliff and vanished forever. And that took out all their lives at once. <laughs> so okay so flicker star a, a senior adult charismatic lady leader which i love flicker coral is a name that's so pretty bitter Aww. star bow star bow fern oh she's Ooh. pretty she's pretty or rowan star. so I, I definitely want to pick a, a young or adult cat because senior adult they get too old too fast oh my goodness i love her coat oh my bow goodness fern? right no no flicker star i love oh. her or flicker coral i love her coat right <gasps> oh my baby. god you've got so many cute cats you even got one with a heart on its side oh right. my goodness this is pretty and it's, he's a dude i love him rowan whistle dude it's a cute fatty fat dude i love it okay so i am here here's here's the ones i'm torn between i think i'm torn between mole star because one handsome to mole because they live in tunnels flicker star yeah. who is a little bit older but would be an interest a cool leader or bow yeah. bow star because she's beautiful Ooh. What, what, what does chat think should be the leader bow star flicker star or mole star yeah hold for hold for chat <laughs> Old for chat. You'll also notice we each have different uh, Star Clan cat colors. This was just to make each stream I um, different, and uh, you'll notice each of us have unique backgrounds, which was really fun to make. Yeah, Galaxy made all the the setups for our streams, so Galaxy's pretty cool. All right, we got vote for Mole Star, Bow Star, Flicker. You know, in um, Streamlabs, they actually have a poll option. Oh. So if that we wanted sounds... to do that, we could do that. That sounds complicated. I'm just gonna wait to yeah. see how many come in. Oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing more for, more for Molestar. Okay, I like okay. That. I do like Molestar. It kind of goes with the theme because moles live underground. I do yeah. like that theme. All right, our leader is the adult charismatic male Molestar. So now for deputy, obviously we should make Bowfern because she was the second in the the second one that people were interested in. Yeah. No, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So now our medicine cat could do tumble strike the medicine cat. Uh more tail, senior adult calm. Okay, or flicker okay. Coral. We could make flicker curl the coral the the medicine cat. That makes sense. Let's do that. Flicker I think coral. So. She's our beautiful oh. one. Our medicine cat. 
Yeah. I did not do that right. I, I wasn't paying super attention, so I hope that, <laughs> that was the correct order. Um, and now the rest Good of the cats join the clan. We are definitely adding Bite Kit. I yeah, no, care. Bite Kit sounds hilarious. And we'll add Whistle Kit too, because two kits are always good to have. Yeah, yeah. We'll add Tumble Strike, Apricot Paw, and we'll do more tail. And can I do one more? I can. I think I can do two more. Let's do Rowan Whistle because he's cute and got a heart on his butt. Aww. And Whisper That's Freckle because so he's handsome and bloodthirsty. Okay, that sounds good with me. I'm just going to quickly uh, share one more link to the um, streams. Uh, All right, now I'm going to pull up your streams so that you can go through and pick yours. Or, or do you want me to pick my, do you want to pick my, uh, my background first real quick? I'll let you pick your background. That way it gives me some time to actually do some link sharing. <laughs> All right, uh, should, should I do the, the grasslands where you see the tunnel entrances, or should I do the actual tunnels underground with the dinosaur ooh, in the corner? Oh, that's tough. Ooh, the, the grass that is, is so a tough pretty. one. It's so pretty, though. The grass one that. does look pretty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Hold on. I... Your stream slowed down on my end, so I'm going to let it catch up. Oh, there we go. I got it back up. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I... The grassland does look pretty. I am going to be in caves, so keep in mind... Well, I do like the tunnels, though, because we mentioned the intercrossing. So, like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, they could ooh, still... like that's this tough. Is, this is still implying that they live in tunnels. You're not, just not seeing them. So, since, you, yeah. since you're in caves, so they're, like, underground all the time, I'm going to say that... I'm going to do the grassland, that they do hang out in the grass above, but they hunt in the tunnels okay. and stuff. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I like that. All right, my clan has been created. We will now go to Galaxy's chat to uh, actually see Galaxy's tight clan get made. I'm gonna pull pull up your your stream over here. I'm, I'm actually sending I'm the gonna... link to my grandma. So if my grandma joins, everyone say hi, because she's actually a moderator for my YouTube channel. <laughs> Amazing. It's very sweet. Grand... I love my grandma. W would you call her a Grand mod? <laughs> Grand mod. I love it. That has to be a role if I ever get Twitch uh, Streamlabs running. Yeah. Um, all right. So for all of you hopping over to my stream, hi, we're going to be the evil clan. So we're going to look at our cats. We have Fog Scar. He is a male elder and he is wise. He seems to be a gray spotted cat. And I very much like his colors. We have Fluttering Mouse who is a male adult and loyal. Oh, please let me have some cats that are evil. Um, <laughs> need just one blur bloodthirsty one. That's yeah, all just need. one bloodthirsty. Uh, we have Snape Strike. Uh, she's a female, a senior adult, and bold. I love her blue eyes. Oh, Ooh. welcome back, Colt's Owl. Um, we have Ant Peak to Ant Star. She is a young adult, and she is compassionate. Oh, God. I'm worried now. <laughs> uh we have Stout Back. Ooh, I love that name. She's female, adult, and adventurous. Our kit is Elm Kit, and she is insecure. Oh. What's that tabby with the red? I'm getting. I'm gonna okay. go through the list. Okay. Uh, we have Narc Narce Kit into Narce Star. She is a daydreamer. I love it. We have Hoot Paw, who is a empathetic character. I love his coat. Um, and then we have Shimmer Throat. I I oh like God. Shimmer Throat a lot. I really do. Um, yeah, Shimmer Throat looks adorable. Uh, okay. We have Curl, Curly, Curly Peak, the Curly Star. Uh, she's a faithful elder. We have two cats. If we don't have a um, oh my gosh, <laughs> a, an evil cat. I know, is... right? That was. <laughs> There's some lag in the stream, and so I was just sitting here with bated breath for the stream to actually catch up to, to where your oh, no. voice in my ear was, and Shimmer Throat is so pretty. Isn't she? Oh my god. Anyway, uh, we have Vine Star the Righteous. We have one cat. Please let her be vengeful or bloodthirsty. <laughs> nope, but we do have Ambitious, so I think Ambitious that's is a the thought. closest you're going to get. Or, or Righteous, I think and it so. could be like, you know, the bad kind. Yeah, the righteous bad kind. Uh, Hello Kitty Gaming, I see you are spamming uh, Rook's chat. I see you are saying Merp. 
Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, uh okay. No so spamming, it's please. between Can you stop. <laughs> yes, please. Uh otherwise Grandma Mod is going to have to come over there. <laughs> yes. Grandma Mod can be mod in my ch in my chat too. We will have to kick you kitty cat gaming if you keep spamming. I'll give it a minute or two just to see if they stop after hearing us because there's the lag, but... Yeah, yeah. Okay, continuing on, uh, we have Shard Leaf into Shard Star or Vine Fur or we have Shimmer Throat. So we have three options, everyone. So what options do you think we should go for? Shimmer Throat, Vine Fur, or Shard Leaf? I'm going to wait a couple of moments. Um... I know where I'd cast my vote. <laughs> wait, I can go I'm going to wait chat. a few moments. I can ca I can you can. You can cast a vote. <laughs> so if someone, if you guys want to hop over and, and cast a vote for who's going to be leader, uh, I already see one saying Shimmer Throat is so pretty. Um, I'm going to just reload the page and see if chat. Ah, there we go. Colt Owl just responded. Cool. Just making sure my stream's still going. Um, awesome possum. Uh, shard start a shimmer throat for a medicine cat. Okay, I see. I see what you're doing. You <laughs> infiltrating spy. <laughs> I'm in Tide Clan. I'm fine. Oh, I just noticed something wrong with my uh, OBS. Give me one moment. Uh, I notice oh, white like box. Kitty cat gaming there we go. Oh, I appreciate that, Kitty Cat Gaming. Thank you. Because we want to have yeah. a fun, a fun chat for everybody. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, shard leaf maybe. Okay, I'm gonna give it a few moments just to sort of let things um kick off, as it were. Uh, so let's see. Shard leaf. Shard leaf shimmer, fine shimmer. Okay, so we have we have two for shimmer, one for vine, one for shard. Is that correct in our voting? Looks like it. What do you, what do y'all okay. think in the rook chat? Do you want oh. to cast your votes for for Galaxy yeah. stream? Yeah, oh, cuz I'm like keeping got, an eye on both shard leaf. Yeah, we got a, <laughs> we got another shard leaf. Okay. So, oh, okay. I think it's shard leaf. Yes, ambitious shard star. That's also such a like a dope intense yeah. name. Yeah, I I think so too. Okay. Uh, granting this cat their nine lives. Hello! Now we get to choose the deputy, and I think it's only fair to make it Vinefur. Yes. Because he's the righteous senior adult, and she is wonderful. I really like her colors. And then we will make, um, the medicine cat be Shimmerthroat. Perfect. I think. Oh, right, and also, one thing we forgot to mention, Rook, is that we're going to choose one character that is the main focus of the clan. If they die, the stream might end. Depending on how soon they die or not, if that makes sense. Yeah, so the main character of the story from from each of our we, we pick like a kit to be the the main character. Yeah, we're picking we a kit just life. to stay with formula. I already know who just I'm to stay picking. with formula. Who, who are you yeah, picking for your, for your main character? I'm gonna pick Elm Kit because she's insecure and I feel like that could be a really cute storyline. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so we're recruiting Elm Kit. We are absolutely recru recruiting Fluttering Mouse. Uh, he looks adorable. That's such a good we name. We are also, too. I know. We're also gonna pick Ant Peak, and we are going to pick um, uh, Stripes uh, Stripes Strike, because that name is just too good. Um, unfortunately, because we're the Cruel Clan, we will not pick Elders. This just our clan will not deal with elders. I know Hoopa is cute. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the last two cats. I think oh, but I want to have Frog Scar. He sounds so badass. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick uh Narse Kit, and the last cat is going to be Frog uh Fog Star Scar. Ooh. I feel like. He is a strong elder. Yeah, he's the he's the one that killed off all the other elders. Yeah, totally. He's that vicious, and he's yeah. wise because right. he knows that death comes for us all. 
<laughs> yes. Ooh, look at the tide pools. I will in a minute. We decided or two it was going to be the up. cave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm we decided it was going to be the cave. So, next, done. Your clan has been created and saved. Ooh. Let's go. I think from here we can continue the stream. I think we'll um, we can we'll, Will we, like, decide to, like, click each day, like, or each time skip together and then, like, read through events together sort of a deal? I think so, so we can work out the differences. Yeah. So let's, so. Yeah. Let's see. I can go through. I want to see your, your tide pools real quick. Oh, they are pretty. Okay. Now I will leave now they and are. stop spying. There's, like, little bits of water everywhere. Yeah. Okay. I am also going to minimize Rook's chat. I am still having the window available for me to click, but I cannot see it, if that makes sense. Wonderful. I will check in on you if there is a new um, event, or if a cat dies, or a cat joins, if that makes sense. Sounds good. Only for important events, I will look at Fox Clans just to make sure we're up to date. All right, let's go through and take a look, chat at at who our who our folks are and what their relationships are. Yeah. So, oh, Molestar's a great speaker. Bless. <gasps> Colts. Oh, oh, oh. Co's caught owl is sticking in my stream. Their stream. They are a Tide Clan supporter. Let's oh, go. Oh, heck yeah. Fox Clan is loyal to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Molestar, who looks like, okay, looks like Molestar and Mort Mortail are friends. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, but my main character is most definitely Bite Kit. <laughs> like, yes, I, I think that's I wonderful. Yeah, how could like you not? That? He's a daydreamer, yeah. that's perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh, that sounds wonderful. He, he really likes the one elder Rowan Whistle. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm opening up my um, relations tab for my cats. I'm starting with uh, my leader. Um, so it looks like Shardstar has a platonic like for Stripe. Uh, Stripe. Strike. Wow, that name is going to throw me off. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of platonic liking here, actually. There's no jealousy. Oh my god, my clan, despite being the uh, one with the reputation of being. Uh, <laughs> evil <laughs> of being of being a bully is just not showing its its nature we'll see how that goes however oh my gosh. as time goes on oh my gosh this is yeah, incredible bofern bofern our our beautiful deputy one is trans male <gasps> i love him that's I wonderful him. incredible second he has three squares of romantic like for tumble strike right out the gate Goodness, that's wonderful! I, I love, love it! I love him! Oh my goodness! I'm looking at Elm Kit, who is our focus main character here in uh, Tide Clan. It looks like he's very comfortable with fluttering. Uh, oh god, the name is so long, it's actually cut off the box. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to take practice on that one. And very much respects her. Uh, the darkness will rise in the clan, no worries, says Cos Caught Owl. Uh, she, oh my god, she's just comfortable with everyone. Oh my god, Elm Kit, you're so sweet. Bless. You're so insecure, and yet you, like, really love everyone in a platonic way. That's so cool. I love that. I'm gonna just go through it and let uh, Rook do the rest of her clan while we look quietly at mine. See, we're secretive. Yes. So, we live oh, in the caves. So some some highlights so far too. Tumble Strike does not return uh, Bofern's crush at all, which is fine. <gasps> he will. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. We'll find out. Let's see. Apricot Paw, Apricot Paw, and Tumble Strike are friends. Beautiful. Is that who is who is Apricot Paw's mentor? Apricot mm -hmm. Paw's mentor is Bofern. No wonder, no wonder he likes he likes Tumble Strike so much. It's because Bofern keeps talking him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh, 
apricot paw and bow fern definitely do guy talk yes okay we're just gonna go to the cats list on my end and we're gonna start and i'm gonna quietly let everyone read my stuff while you do your explanations cool i am mostly just clicking through and looking through them so i'll probably do a, mm -hmm. a more thorough click through for everybody for the stream's sake momentarily yeah. Also, shimmering shimmer throat is amazing. I love shimmer throat. <gasps> yes. T tell me about what's. Tell me what's great about shimmer throat. She woke up on the wrong side of the nest this morning, which is completely relatable. Yes. She's a careful cat, but she's also a good fighter. Interestingly enough, for a medicine oh, cat. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe she. I would. Yeah. Um. Uh. We can also right. Just for everyone to know, we can change names. Uh. Change. Uh. Their genders. Um. Or their tra uh, There are if they are trans of identity, and we can also make sure they prevent kits. I will not. I think medicine cat kits is a very interesting drama. Uh. Thing. So very cool. Uh. We can also manage their roles. Now it. Uh says is one of the founding members this cat did not have a mentor or is their mentor unknown so shimmer throat could have a very interesting uh life i suspect mm -hmm. they're still pretty young they're only 65 moons so i am very interested to see how shimmer throat develops as a character continue you get to choose your cat okay so i'm just looking through bow fern is Confident and extremely smart. I love him so much. My goodness! I love it! He's only 12 moons old. He's a baby. <gasps> oh my god! He's a baby. That's he's so a deputy. sweet. He's a little Aww. fire star. Oh my god! I love him. I love him. Man, Bofern so is really making a gunnin for that main character syndrome. Oh gosh, seriously. Uh, I'm looking at my uh, deputy. Currently, he is escorting the medicine cat to gather herbs. Or she is, sorry. If I say that it's a he, it's my mistake, but I, it, it, it currently identifies as female. If I consistently misgender a cat, we will transify them. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, just like that'll make it easier for my brain, but also like pro trans here, right? Like I want. I want re that 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 comfort level. Yeah. Um, Representation. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm non-binary myself, so I very much am uh, uh, very much gunning for uh, non-binary cats personally. But that's me. So anyway, uh, Vine first. She is a senior adult. She is righteous. She's also a good speaker. Ooh, good speaker. I know, and it looks like her face makes a little X on it, which I really like. Uh, same history as the leader, no founding. I think the history on the cats will be, um... Oh! You can enter notes about your cats! <gasps> Did you know that? No, where's that? Look at my stream and catch up. Okay, let me pull up your stream again. I didn't know we could do that. Also, yes, that is so sweet, Toon Stomp. So you see how there's those little tabs on the side? Yeah, yeah. Click through those, and eventually, it, it just took me to a little check mark that said, enter check mark, and if you hit the check mark, you can edit the text and lock oh and gosh. save text. I love that. And you can favorite the cat oh, and we are, tab. We are favoriting uh, Bite Kit as our um, ma yeah. main character. And Bo Fern exactly. as the secondary main character because I love him. Yeah, we're gonna make Shimmer Throat. I'm gonna go back to her histories. Uh, we're going to make her a favorite this tab, and we're going to favor this tab, and then we're gonna edit this text, and we're gonna call her secondary character. Nice. Character. And I'm going to enter a personal history for her because I like her so much. She was previously a warrior. Nice. Warrior. And is new to being a medicine cat. I know, right? Like, I agree, Owl. It's amazing to find new features. Like, oh, exciting. Okay, and then we hit this to lock and save text. 
So she is the secondary char- character. You can go ahead. Yes. Okay. I did the same for Bo Fern as the second main, main character. I also added the note that he was made Deputy Young due to the unexpected death of the previous deputy. And then we'll add some notes for Bite Kit. Main character. Okay, I have moved my screen forward to Elm's Kit description. Do you want to hear about her? Yes, tell me about Elm Kit. Okay, so Elm Kit is currently crying after roughhousing too hard with the older cats. Oh, baby! She is a calico cat. She is two moons old. She has copper-colored eyes. Her first character trait is insecure. Oh, so cute. So cute. I'm going to get Elm Kit. Um, mother died and is close to Shimmer Throat as a uh, foster mother. She helps out where she can, but is very insecure and anxious. I cannot spell anxious, so I apologize. Yes, Owl, you did hear that it's a calico. Uh, and anxious. <laughs> People don't correct my spelling. Please don't. Please don't. I'm gonna be so sad. I'm dyslexic, I can't spell, and I'm not gonna worry about it. But I have mentioned it now. If you see me making a spelling error, just know I'm not trying to do it on purpose. I just literally can't see the letters in my head. Uh, insecure and anxious. Uh, as the clan's situation is, um... Uh... Fluxu- as the clan situation is... Ah, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Rook? I have no what, what, I have no idea. Well, what was the preceding sentence again? <laughs> she's insecure. She's attached to Shimmer Throat as a foster mother, and I was saying that she's anxious as the clan situation is. The word I'm thinking oh. of is tumultuous, oh. but I don't, I want to find a simpler word because I can't spell that. Oh, oops. Ever changing. How about that? There you go, there you go. Sorry to not use the big fancy words in my head, but um, that's it. Sorry for taking up the, the time. Alright, locking text. Go ahead. Okay, okie dokie dokie do. Also, in response to your question, Larchie, the essence of the game that we're actually playing on stream, not the game that everyone is playing, role-playing in the chat, um, is it's a clan generator, so we're going to see how the story develops like for these cats. Mm-hmm. And okay. if another clan is mentioned, we will always assume it is the other clan. There are only two existing clans in this scenario. Fox yep. clan and tide clan. Yep. Okay, well, I put in some info for Bite Kit, which is, bless bless this boy, I gotta show you, show you, so, there's, I have two kits in the clan, Bite Kit and Whistle Kit, already loving it. Bite yep. Kit is thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. He is a dreamer. And Whistlekit is trying to growl menacingly, and her she, her trait is bossy. So I'm like, ah yes, Bite Kit is the is the oh pretty flowers. I wonder about this. I wonder about that. I can't focus, baby. And Whistlekit is an ADHD is, baby. He is the ADHD baby, and Whistlekit is constantly annoyed by him and is like, what the heck is wrong with you? Get it together. So I wrote in his in his description, a dreamer, hard to focus, and gentle natured is bossed around by Whistlekit. So sweet. Oh, and I gotta add that he's friends with Rowan Whistle because I see he looks, he looks up to the old. He likes to hear his stories. That's what it is. Ah, got you. Yeah, that makes sense. And yes, Coast co- uh, Owl, you're right. Dyslexia in my language is literally just called word blindness. I love it. I love how you have more cats than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we don't keep drowning up on the hills. 
<laughs> I know, right? Our camp gets flooded. It's terrible. Poor Shimmerthroat. She has to, like, deal with everyone, like, constantly getting pneumonia. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm actually going to send my cats out on patrol. Alrighty. I think I shall as well. Yeah, I'm going to send... I'm not actually going to tell you who I'm going to send, because if we come to an event, it would be neat to see how we figure it out. Yeah. So. I'm going to choose these three. To go on patrol. Ah, it ended up being a medicine cat patrol. That's ah. Okay, oh, flicker going on patrol. Leads everyone to have a lovely day. Aww. Let's patrol again. Okay, okay. Okay, my event, uh, just for my chat, so, you know, uh, it's how it goes. Uh, so, we've passed uh, upon the sand between the waves and rocky pools. They find one of the oddest things any of them have ever seen. A large octopus on land, and it's clearly trying to head for the ocean. <laughs> Proceeding. The patrol pounces in coordinated strikes on the massive potential prey, but this prey has more arms and then there are cats, and it takes all their... And Oh my god, they're literally fighting a kraken. I love it. Uh, <laughs> the titanically large, strong arms. The patrol takes a couple hours to rest bef uh, afterwards before they try moving it. The end, in the end, uh, and in the end, almost loses the octopus's body to the tides. Holy wow. shoot, that's metal. That is metal as heck. All right, next patrol. Uh, no wonder, it is no probably good. My clan is seen as sh the shadow clans. They have to fight krakens. Yeah, seriously, fighting fighting octopuses. Chapter one? You kidding me? My my chapter one was they found an abandoned badger set and went, oh no, what if a badger comes back? So they stuffed grass in the hole and called it a day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm about to send my medicine cat and sharp strike. Sh yeah, sh stripe. <laughs> this cat's name is gonna kill me. My dyslexia is gonna die here. <laughs> stripe strike on a on a patrol. Uh, ooh, they feel a presence. You can antagonize the presence or proceed. We are going to flip a coin to determine the action. Is mm -hmm. chat ready? Is chat ready for this? Because I don't think I don't think uh. It is going to be what you expect. Um, so let me just pull up a coin flip. All right. Um, heads, they antagonize. Tails, they don't antagonize. Ready, set, go. Flip again. It's heads. They're going to antagonize it. Oh. They are going to antagonize the presence. Stripe, sh uh, stripe strike feels hounded, never given a moment's peace. And they hiss at the Star Clan cat. The ghost vanishes like a puff of fog in the morning sun, hopefully not to return. Oh, heck. What is what is going on in Stripe Strike's past? It's coming back yeah. to haunt them. Who did they who did they murder? Who did they murder? We don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we have no cats left to patrol. Uh, I've checked Star Clan, and I think I can proceed to skipping to one moon. What about me, you? Me too. Let's do it. First moon skip. Oh, oh. shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look over at your screen for events. Okay. I have an event that is going to require us interacting. Same, me too. Most likely. I need to check, but... Let's see. Mine are Tumble Strike earned a scar defending the territory. Hold Whisper on, Freckle found a loner who wanted to join the clan, so I need to check to see the loner's backstory to see if they are one of yours. Okay, okay, and Whisper yeah. Freckle also earned a scar fighting a fox. Whisper Freckle, you're an elder! What are you doing? <laughs> oh. A noble elder! I bet a fox broke through into the, the tunnels. <gasps> Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, 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 okay. Guys, 
What is our it first clan interaction? Oh, what is it? Stripe, shot. Uh, Stripe. Fuck it, this cat is going to kill me. Stripe. Stripe Strike finds a warrior from Fox Clan named <gasps> Wild Sky who asks to join the clan. Okay, Wild Sky is a heckin' good name, but we're gonna have to change it to be one of mine. Yes, we're going to have to change it. Looking at relationships, uh, do you want to go first on relationships? Uh, well, let's, we'll get let's to the changing of the clan. Okay, and I checked my my loner. They were not a member of a previous clan, so they were just a rogue. Okay. Which her name or his name is Jewel Stripe, and he's actually quite handsome. Okay. So we can deal, we are going to, okay, you know what, you're right. We should probably just look at the cat list and mm -hmm. look at the new cat. So you can look at my screen. Well, I think we could probably also just do random. Uh -oh. oh, that's true. That would make it more devastating and interesting for story purposes. Unless. Uh, so it is about to get more interesting. I just yeah. looked at Wild Sky's past. What's Wild Sky's past? A retired leader. <gasps> you know what, what that means? Molestar left the clan. <laughs> Molestar. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Wild Sky used to be the leader of another clan before they needed a change of scenery. After leadership became too much, they returned their nine lives and let their deputy take over. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Okay. Let's this is see. serious, guys. Okay, so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're going to exile Molestar, and you gotta change yeah. Wild Sky's name to Molestar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I gotta go back to personal change name. Uh, what was Molestar's name before Mol they were Molestar? Mol Mol Moon. Okay. That's a heckin' good Mol name too. Moon, and they kind of they don't have the same artwork, but I will say they are um. A similar brown color that works so right. mole moon left fox clan to join my clan wow that is that is a heckin change of pace you are going to a dangerous place my dude oh my goodness i just exiled mole star and it says mole star is shocked that they have been exiled <laughs> oh no i'm so sorry mole star okay that oh means we have do we have a leader? Do I have to... Because I know Bofern is... It'll have to be the deputy who takes over because that's what happens yep. in the history of the uh, the thing. That means right. when Molestar Head... left to get a change of pace and was like, I can't handle leadership anymore. Oh my gosh, this is basically Firestar and Bluestar because Bluestar was going crazy and then like, you know, mm -hmm. that that's why the young deputy was made. So it's the same deal. Molestar was crumbling under the pressure of leadership until picked Bofern because Bofern probably was helping and then was like, well, I'm out. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, so that now... seems about right. So Bofern, Bofern is now Bostar. Now, I don't know if my chat is active. Uh, can someone uh, talk in my chat temporarily? Just because I don't see any new pings or uh, uh, comments or a, a text box feeds. Uh, Rook, can you come over to my stream and just type in the yeah. text box? Yeah, let me pull I know sometimes down. my internet doesn't like to play nice, so. Yeah, let me pull that up real quick. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -doo. Okay, so it's just chat's quiet. That's okay. No worry, guys. You guys don't have to talk if you don't have to. I will take care of Mole Moon. Hello, Toon Stomp. So yes, we've we've uh, 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 acquired a new cat. Okay. All right, I've got to write these. Uh, what gender down was both. Mole Moon? Mole Moon was a boy. Okay, so then this cat is now a man. Perfect. They are a trans man. Beautiful. I love it. I love that. Beautiful. I love that for for both for Mole Moon. He was always trans man. Always. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Tune. I appreciate the refresh. Okay. Uh, right. I need to change his backstory too.
I'm just taking down, putting down my notes. If you want to start going through your relationship, yeah, things. I was, uh, yeah, I was actually just uh, making notes myself. I said Mole Moon was the leader of Fox Clan before retiring to join the rival clan Tide Clan. They are not entirely trusted by the clan. Okay, now we will go back to events and look at relationships on my end. Woohoo! So relationships. Fluttering Nose had a disagreement with Fog Scar about something. A small negative effect. Uh. Tripe Strike caught Nar Narse Kit complaining uh, behind their back. Oh, Kit drama. Uh, both of them caught each other complaining about each other. The, the dens are so <laughs> close together that, like, if anyone he talks about another cat, you can hear the gossip. Ooh. Yes. Uh, oh my god, Shimmer Throat called Nurse Kit the wrong name. Vine for chats with Fogstar. Fogstar appreciates them. They're having that feather stock. Blah, blah. A bump. Uh, oh my god. Elm Kit had a mock battle with Nurse Kit. They were playing together. Aww. And Shardstar saw Sharp Strike take the last prey. Ooh. Alrighty. Other clans. We met that. No miscellaneous. No other clans. No deaths. Okay, your turn. Okay, so... Tumble Strike congratulates Whistlekit for a job well done. Cute. Oh my gosh, Bite Kit is letting Molestar share their troubles with him, hoping they'll feel better afterwards. Molestar was going to this child to be like, I'm going to leave, and Bite Kit's like, I guess you, you should? No wonder Bite Kit's the main character. Alright, More Tail said something that rubbed Apricot Paw the wrong way. Rowan Whistle bask in the sun with Tumble Strike. Cute. Molestar compliments Whistle Kit for their good disposition. Whisper Freckle called Bowfern the wrong name. Must be after the leader ceremony. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Apricot Paw saw F Flicker Coral take the last piece of prey from the fresh kill pile. Whistle Kit swaps favorite prey with Bowfern. Aww. Aww. Flicker Coral swaps favorite play with Whisper Freckle, and Bowfern is talking with Rowan Whistle. Lovely. Mm. Wow, okay. what, a, what, a, what a first moon. Yeah, goodness. Let's do some- Wow, that was- that was cool. Right? That was really cool. Alright, let's go- let's do- oh, and of course I got the new cat, which is Jewel Stripe. Mm -hmm. the, lo the loner who used to be a rogue who joined. Good timing since Molestar had to leave. Yeah. And Jewel Stripe is altruistic and a good teacher. Aww. So let's do some patrols. So sweet. All right. While you're doing patrols, let me know if an event happens. In the okay. meantime, I'm going through my clan's uh, daily events. I did uh, uh, click, click, click through it just for my stream not to, to be stagnant. Um, so they could read the events, but I'll read them out loud for your chat if they are not peeking on mine. <laughs> uh, Chartstar is daydreaming about a clan celebration in their honor. What oh. a tyrant. <laughs> okay, okay. They're ambitious and they have a low, uh, strong connection to Star Clan. Vinefur is guarding the camp entrance. Shimmerthroat is running low on mouse bile. Sharp Strike is concludes they are not afraid of anything. <laughs> While the warriors are sharing their fears. <laughs> Sounds very right for Tide Clan. Yes. Uh, Mole Moon is looking around the camp in wonder. He has never seen the underground caves. Oh yeah, because like underground would feel very different in a little dirt tunnel than it would in a sea cave. Yeah, our caves are massive, and we have seaweed clinging to the walls, and the rocks are slippery, so you have to be careful where you step. And sometimes in the little tide pools that form in the center of the camp, little fish can be spotted. Uh, Flutter Mouse is exhausted from yesterday's patrols, and Ant um, Peak feels bad feel or sorry feels bad seeing the apprentices being worked to the bone. Oh my gosh! Fog Scar is relaxing. Aw, our elder, and Narse Kit is growling menacingly. <laughs> our main character is craving the taste of rabbit. Interesting. I know. All right, did your patrol find anything? Just caught a mouse and then went and got some more herbs. Okay, we're going to go out ourselves. We're going to have the leader and medicine cat go out together. Oh, God. 
I have another event. <gasps> What's your event? A shimmering throat pads through Tide Clan territory with their entourage. They feel a presence join them. Oh, I have the option one. to proceed, not to proceed, or antagonize. I will never hit not proceed because we want events to happen. Yeah. So we are going to flip the coin again. Heads, they proceed. Tails, they antagonize. Ready, set, go. It's heads, they proceed. Mm. A connection. The connection wavers as quickly as it vanished. The feeling of company. Uh. Uh. uh appear. Uh, the connect. The connection wavers, and as quickly as the feeling of company appears, it vanishes. Oh. So even if they wanted to engage, Star Clan is uh, being hesitant. I imagine because the previous cat hissed at them. Probably. Probably. Ooh, they're trying to tell them something. All right, I'm going on my next patrol. Feel free to um, do what you need to do. Adding cats. I'm going to send three cats and then another patrol of two. We're going to go on a patrol. I have another event. Rook, this is terrible. Oh my god. My clan is so active. There's dark clouds in the horizon. Mool. Oh wait, I will always proceed, so it's not actually an event. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, no good. No worries. <laughs> Okay, it's just talking about rain. I'm not used to this mode yet, so I don't know all the events, obviously. So for me, it is a little like, okay, this is all kind of new. I actually only played this once with Rook, uh, just to test out this version, because I played the original version in my first stream, um, which you can go check out on my channel, which tells the story of Frost Clan. How long will the broadcast last? Uh, uh, last, somebody asked. Oh. Um, it's until one of our main characters dies. Yeah, or until we get so, tired, and then we might pause yeah. and do continue another day. Yeah, it depends on the events, because it is randomized, right? Yeah. Alright. Here we go. They fight a fox! Oh! And they win! Whoa. Alrighty. That's symbolic. I'm going to check out... <laughs> yeah, really. That's the prophecy. <laughs> That's what StarClan was warning them about. I'm going to quickly go through and just um, go to see relationships between all my cats going one by one. I'm not going to talk unless it's important. Because uh, I want to give chances for Rook to speak. I know I have a habit of speaking over people. Nah, you're good. So, I am just writing in some notes about the whole mole star thing for Bite Kit as well. And then aw, I'll go, I'll yeah. I clicked through to see if any of the relationships had changed, and they were all about the same. Yeah. Because it's only one month. Yeah, I don't see any changes either. So. Oh, but we can look at Mole Moon. Because uh, he's new. He has respect. For both vine fur and uh, striped, <laughs> this cat's popular, and I hate how frequently he comes up. Oh, I am getting a phone call. I'm going to decline. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, keep keep and doing then... your stuff. I'm actually gonna hop away real quick. I'll be right back. Of course, I'll just keep doing my thing. I'll do a moon skip and go through the events with everyone, and then when you come back, you can do your moon skip. How about that? Perfect. That way, the stream stays active. Perfect. All right, I'll be right back. All right. So hi guys, you can all hop over to my stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal some uh, Fox Clan warriors. Just saying. Anyway, uh, and then uh, Mole Moon, the previous leader of um, Fox Clan, is having lots of uh, having a, a small amount of respect for both of these warriors on screen. That's right. I'm going to encourage you to look at my screen. All right, coming back. Uh, we're gonna go back, and we're gonna go back, and we're gonna go, and we're going to do one moon time skip, everyone. Okay, we have some interesting things. So we, uh, strike. I really should change stripe strike to the main character or to a side character that's really prominent because damn, he sees a lot of stuff. Um. Oh wow, Mole Moon has an apprentice. Uh, okay, so Stripe Strikes, 
Stripe Strike finds a kitty pet named Evelyn who wants to join the clan. The kitty pet decides to take on a slightly more clan-like name. Their name, her name, wait, it doesn't even say if it's a female. Ooh, exciting. Uh, it is, she is now called Evelyn Whisker. Or, they are, sorry. They are called Evelyn Whisker. Uh, Narsay Paw carefully touches the nose, a nose with a new mentor, Mole Moon, who is looking quite intimidated and nervous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Poor Papu. Um, yeah, okay. So then, for ceremonies... Uh, we have the Mole Moon ceremony, and then we have some other things. Um, if Rook is back, uh, back. I'm sure she'll let- oh, oh, well, there you are! Hi, Rook! Hello. So, we have an event on our side. Oh, yeah? It seemed- so we found a kitty pet, and her name is Evelyn, and she joined us, and is now called Evelyn Whisker. And then Narsepaw became the apprentice of Mole Moon. Ooh. I know! Isn't that cool? That is so cool. I'm gonna quickly do relationships as you go on to do your time skip. Flutter okay. Mouse, Prey, I'm gonna see- Oh, Stripe Strike had a kit. Yeah, I'm gonna mainly pay attention to the main characters yeah, of my yeah. clan, if that makes sense. Same. Um, also, I have interesting- I didn't realize this would happen, and I have an, an event on my end. Ah, oh. uh, so, uh, okay. Since I, since I just clicked Molestar, like to exile him? Oh, no. He still exists in my side of the game, I guess? Yes. Um and the event was rumors reach your clan that the exiled Molestar lost a life recently. So do we want to pretend Molestar has his life still or do we just want to kill him outright now that he's Well, he did say in his thing that he gave up his lives. So I'm going to have to kill Mole Moon. You're going to have to kill Mole Moon. I'm going to have to kill Mole Moon. He had a new life. He was going to teach uh, Narsepod. Narse Narse yeah. Oh. Shimmer Throat appreciates Elm Kit telling them that they had a feather stuck to their face. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, basic clan stuff. Oh my gosh. I Elm Kit check finds that. a way. <gasps> Elm Kit finds the way Mole Moon acts increasingly uncomfortable. Oh man. Oh man. Uh. Uh, Mole Moon had to nip Elm Kit on the rump because they were being naughty. <laughs> oh, well, Mole Moon is dead now. Yep. Well, I'm gonna we're keep going getting to the notes cat list. about him losing his lives. I think because he, since I hit exile, I can't get rid of him permanently. <laughs> yeah, we'll just assume he's dead from that point on. Any, if that any makes new sense. Any news with Mole Star will be. Will ignored. be treated and, and ignored unless it's something like he attacks and kills one of my guys, in which case I'm going to say that that comes from beyond the grave. Yeah, we're going to say it's a dark forest. Yeah. So, but under my relationships, okay. Tumble Strike checks up on Flick Flicker Coral. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Bite Kit bumped into Mole Star at the clan border before he died. That's wow. Okay. So Mole Moon is now in Star Clan. Unfortunately, our our uh, our trans boy he 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 died. I feel really bad about that. Okay, yeah. I, I'm uh, thinking that Mole, Mole, Mole Star Mole Moon was like probably dangerous to other cats. Like I think mm. that's an interesting like bit of this of uh, twist on this like the events. You yeah. Know? Okay. So I'm gonna go to his history then. I'm just gonna write that in. Yeah. In you can Star actually clan. move him to the dark forest if you want. <laughs> oh, I'm doing that. You serious? Yes. Yeah, you can. It's an option if you go to Star Clan. He's can... in the dark. He's in the dark forest. Okay. Edit text. Um. After. Um. Elm Kit catches. Is him plotting to overthrow um get my leader's name. Oh shoot. <laughs> Give me a moment. I know she's who she is, it's just um Shard Star, that's right. Um Uh, 
Guard. Guard. Star. Um. He is confronted by his apprentice and Elm Kit about the treason and attacks the attacks them. Uh, sharp strike intervenes and um Mole Moon falls to his death. Oh, I like that. So sorry, I, I missed the beginning of that, so did are you saying that Mole Moon oh. tried to attack the leader? Yeah. No no well um uh, he's planning treason. Ah. I'm gonna make notes on if I can get back to Molestar Molestar's page, I'm gonna make notes. I'm gonna say that like Molestar had someone important to him killed by Tide Clan, and so his crumbling under the pressure of leadership was him actually trying to figure out a way to go Find and revenge. Like, take revenge. Yes, so. I'm gonna copy and paste his description into Discord for you. Yes. So we can do that. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, then I can go to clan. Cat Luke. Okay. Oh, here, here, here he is. Yeah. Sorry, I'm laughing because I'm getting updates. You know, um, if anyone here is aware of a stream I did for uh, an emergency surgery for a dog, uh, that was uh, my mom's dog. I just got an update from my dad. Because it, or my, my, my stepdad, because it's snowing. And, uh, she just encountered her first snowplow ever. Oh and she God. was really excited to get to it. And then halfway to, like, walking up to it, um, she gets, she starts pulling like crazy. And then the, and then the snowplow finishes what it was doing and turns and leaves. And as he put it, Gin won her dominance battle with a snowplow. It felt it fled at her approach. That's so funny. I think so. <laughs> oh, she's such a sweet dog. All right, so Moon, and I'm good. When you're done that, can you copy and paste what you've written so I can send it into Mole Moon's past? Yes. And I think you can change their name still, by the way. So you can change it back to Mole Moon. Oh yeah, I'll do that. In fact, actually, are we... Okay, I'm gonna save this. And actually, when I go to his personal... I can change his name again. So I'm gonna go Moon slash Star. That way, um, it shows that he is both a Mole Moon Star. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, I don't know if I can change, because it's a star, I can't change it. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I changed it on my end. Perfect. Yeah, so when you're done that. So yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to send my cats on patrol, and I'll let you know if something happens. Perfect. I'm just going to- Oh, update. we forgot to look at E. Evelyn Whisker! Oh, she's so cute, and she's still got a collar! Oh. <laughs> Okay, we'll send her on this patrol as well. Okay, they go on patrol. My cats are nasty. They just rolled in, um... <laughs> they just rolled on a carcass. To read you the event because this is hilarious while you do mm -hmm. that uh, while a gray fox is bigger and far stockier than the cats the delicious stench of whatever it is makes the patrol's eyes go wide so they found some um like washed up animal on the shore uh they leaped claim position of it, uh, possession of it heavily outnumbered already uh, and already full of the stinky nonsense the fox leaves the beach scrambling up the cliff as the cats give into the into instinct and roll around in the glorious smell. <laughs> That's amazing. 
Cats are stinky! Oh my god, that could be like, um... Like a stereotype of, uh, Tide Clan is that they always stink of salt water and death. Yes! And they would think- Dude, that, I love it! They would think that the Fox Clan stink like foxes, because obviously they live in old foxholes. The dirty bums. Yeah, <laughs> and- Yeah. I love that so much. Okay, hunt goes well, and then I'm sending the medicine cat on her own. Cool. Yep, just a regular patrol after rolling around in the dirt. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look at everyone's relations. I'll let you know if there's anything uh, particularly uh, new. Oh, remember, when we hit the five moon mark, we are flipping for a random kill. Yep, yep. No jealousy, no dislikes so far. Everyone in, despite the having the reputation of a bloodthirsty clan, they actually quite like each other and are very close, uh, a very close community, it seems like. Oh, there is a dislike. Oh! Poor Narsie Paw! Oh. Stripe, uh, Stripe Shrike does not. Hey, come on, come here, Stripe Shrike. Stripe Shrike, let me, let me view your profile. Oh, and he's feeling sore, I imagine, from, uh, being in a fight. We're going to, um, change his history because he was actually quite pivotal in killing Mole Moon. Yeah. Um, oh, which I added another small detail just for Bo Star's backstory, and it's the fact mm -hmm. the previous deputy that died that caused Bo Star Bo Fern to be picked as deputy was Mole Moon's mate. Ooh, so. oh, maybe Stripe Strike killed um the mate. Oh, because he was getting revenge, right? Yeah, he was getting revenge. Yes, yes. So, uh. Ends Mole Moon's life after, um, so it accidentally kills. From his perspective, anyway. Yes, yes. Uh, Mole. Strike, strike, strike is like, I, I want to call him Strike Strike. <laughs> she, it's a she. She's oh, a senior she. adult. I just keep getting her name wrong, her gender wrong. That's so funny. Which means I might, I might make her uh, a trans man. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but Strike Strike like is, is, is just Mo Mo Moon's like, you killed my wife, and Strike Strike's like, I don't even know who you are. I'm going through through to do like the check in the, of the cats. Yeah. Um. Oh yes, Pumpkin Kid, you did miss it. So, uh, the previous leader of Fox Clan left the clan to join Tide Clan and then was killed, and it's because mm -hmm. he was plotting revenge against Tide Clan to get back at whoever killed his mate, the previous deputy of Fox Clan, and it didn't which, work. <laughs> yeah, which is why we're making it Stripe Strike. Yeah. Also, Bite Kit says wishes other cats would stop babying him. Aww. Stripe Strike accidentally kills Mole Moon's mate after Mole Moon flees to camera and plans to, uh, to take him Stripe Strike and him have a epic battle on the cliffs. Okay. Cliffs, uh, with Nars, Paw, and Elm Kit watching. He doesn't trust Nars Kit or Nars Pa since she was um Mole Moon's apprentice and is constantly watching her for traitorous mm. behavior. Mm. 
because he doesn't like her. Yeah, yeah. And we now know there is history and bad blood. Yeah. He was the previous deputy of the clan, but stepped down after killing Mole Moon's mate. A sense of Guilt. Guilt preventing him from continuing his duties as a deputy. There we go. Saved. I also have to tell you, Tumble Strike is that his his is loving, strong connection to Star Clan, but his thing for the day says purrs all night, so full of love for his fellow warriors. Bless you, cinnamon roll. That is so sweet. He's so uh, sharp. Yeah, sorry it went quiet there. There's been a lot of typing to make sure we're keeping up with stories. No, it is a pity that there are no subtitles. I agree. I kind of wish that uh, YouTube would figure out like some auto subtitling thing, but right. unfortunately, because it is a stream, there is no subtitles. Well, I haven't done my patrols yet for the day, so let me do those real quick. Yeah, let me know if something happens. Uh, Shardstar, in the meantime, is feeling proud. Vinefur is assigning cats to patrols. Uh, Shimmerthroat has been hearing the voices of Star Clan cats. Or is she? Oh, I have something that could interact with, with Tide Clan. Oh, it's, what it's, happened? Apricot Paw spies a fat rabbit on the other side of the Tide Clan border. A tempting yeah. opportunity to be sure, but it may not be wise to hunt in a different clan's territory. So let us proceed or antagonize let's flip a coin yes yes heads they proceed tails they antagonize it's heads we proceed oh shoot here we go apricot paw pounces without hesitation they glance around rabbit hanging from their muzzle but it seems there aren't any tide clan cats nearby apricot paw excellent back over the border their prize in tow and transgression unnoticed nice sneaky Kay. sneaky and let's get the some patrol. Oh, Narsay Paw is starting to talk to herself. Oh. I am going to have to uh give her some history notes then. I forgot to give her history notes. Shoot, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once you're done with those notes, I am ready to to skip over the to the Second moon. I haven't done my <laughs> patrols. I've been writing because there's so much to write. <laughs> I know. This is so fun. It is. This is really good story writing. And if we ever decide to, like, make content out of this, it would be amazing. Oh, it would. And we have a permanent record in the form of these videos on YouTube, which is that's great. True. You can always refer back to them, guys. And if you guys want to make fan art, like, that's another thing. Oh, We're yes, always please. open to fan art. Uh, Mole Moon... A traitor who joined a uh, tide clan and manipulated I really her. Star's gonna do other things on my side of things because I can't get rid of him. Because I really yeah. want. Because he seems like the the sort of character that's like, I am in the right, and it is a crime that I am in the dark forest. I don't deserve to be here. It's like, yo, you abandoned your clan and attempted murder. I know, I know, right? Because <laughs> uh, uh, he's scared of uh, uh, Stripe. Strike. So I've also added the detail because she is a loving character. She is like a protective older sister to Elmkit. Nice. Which is why Elmkit got involved because she was worried for her, her adopted sister. Oh, Fogscar is rethinking their life choices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Elmkit is having a hard day. Oh, oh baby. Our main character. I imagine she is. Last night she watched a cat die. Oh yeah, like poor traumatized child. 
that is setting the tone for for Elm. That's a that's a backstory right there. Alrighty, I'm. Are you writing? You can. Down? You, you. I'm still writing. You do your time skip. All right, time skip. Okay, we have our first ceremony of Bowstar making a apricot paw into apricot tail. So we have our first full warrior ceremony, and we also have a new kit in the clan. A loner brings their kit named Vixen to the clan. That's perfect, cause Fox Clan. Yeah. Let's take a look at the relationships. Oh, Tumble Strike congratulates Apricot Paw. Bite Kit and Rowan Whistle are eating food together. Cute. Whisper Freckle finds the way Jewel Stripe acts increasingly uncomfortable. Apricot Tail wants to spend more time with Tumble Strike. Whistle Kit bumped into Molestar at the clan border. That was definitely seeing a ghost. Yes, you need to make sure to make a that note. Down. That, yeah. Yeah, write that down. Okay, I finished my note taking for Elm Kit. Yeah. Oh, right, there's wanna... so much going on. <laughs> I've finished all my patrols. I'm ready to do my one moon time skip. Three, two, one, moon three. Nothing interesting happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so actually happy for that so that you could start doing stuff for your side. Yes. Oh, Stripe Strike caught uh, Elm Kit in a lie. Ooh. I'm actually going to take some screenshots and share them in our in our Discord. Because, like, these are things I want to keep track of. If you have that in events, make sure mm -hmm. you want to do that. Definitely. Let's see, I'm just marking... Also, Nurse Paw is mocking Fox Clan. <laughs> <laughs> I can appreciate this greatly. Oh, Elm Kit Scolds Ant Pelt. He must be one of the collaborators. Ooh. I will have to make a note of that. And of course, Elm Kit and Nurse Paw are disagreeing because obviously they just watched a cat die. That makes total sense why they are disagreeing, guys. Right, right. Um. Okay. Nothing happened. I can now go make more notes. I, there's going to be a lot of note taking. This is really a story building game. And that's really the fun for Rook and I. So sorry if the stream is not like active, active but it is active. We are cr yeah, collaboratingly creating a universe. Yeah. So. It's like a podcast that also has pictures sometimes. <laughs> Vine Fur is appalled at clanmates blatantly lying. We're going to add history because I know he. Got Evelyn in a lie. He is... Okay, we're going to say he is a right cheese cat who, um, is protective of his clan. He is not comfortable with Evelyn um, and Elm Kit. He believes outsiders cause trouble and with Mole Moon's attempted who he feels justified. I think mm -hmm. that is cool. That right. Uh, now I've got to go through the next cats. I'm just she is the second. My uh, you know, it's right funny. Now. Shimmer, Shimmer Throat is supposed to be my secondary main character, but it's like literally Elm Kit, Nurse Paw, and Sharp Strike. I think that the the game is telling you who's supposed to be the main characters. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm not going to have her as the secondary main character. She's now going to be an adoptive mother figure. I like that. I like that. 
Figure two. So apricot um, tail is such good friends with tumble strike. So cute. Aw, pa. She is unsure of the future, but will fight to the death for her clan. Ominous, but uh, you never know what happens. Right, right. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, uh, right. Hello! Uh, my sibling has joined the stream. Everyone say hello to Isaiah Is. Hello, Isaiah Is. Welcome to the stream. Are you hungry, child? Is this why you are bothering me? I, or joining the stream to tell me? Because I can pause and go get you with the ice cream you mentioned. Is that what you wanted? I'm gonna wait for them to respond. <laughs> if they want ice cream, I can take a pause and go give it to them. Uh, yeah. Uh, if it's not the message, if the message isn't going through, uh, heads up. Can I get breakfast? Yes, you can come get breakfast. <laughs> You're starving. Come down. Come down. It's okay. You can you can sneak into the kitchen. I know I control the downstairs as I am streaming, but I don't think Rook minds if you come down. Not at all. No, no, you. It's okay. Not at all. Not not all always. Come get ice cream, and ice hopefully cream. something yeah. healthy. I mean, yeah, I yeah. Anyway, uh, okay. Uh, caught Elm Kit lying on behalf of. Uh, Narse Pa. I have so many dudes in my clan. It is like 90% dude. We have. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, mine is mostly females and trans <laughs> people, which Incredible. is awesome. Incredible. Hi! We're a very trans-positive clan. Unfortunately, we had a trans individual because it's randomized events, right? Yeah. One of our cats was a previous leader and uh, a trans male, and uh, unfortunately, he plotted a coup. He had to get killed. We love some trans people committing coups. We love trans people <laughs> committing coups. Is what is said. Be, be gay. Do crime. Be literally be gay. Do crime. <laughs> <laughs> BK Dukus is what they said. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, now, fluttering nose, I think I don't have to make any edits. Uh, Evelyn feels a sense of dread. Uh, we are going to add on to this because we know that. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the Ant. Ant Peak, I think his name is? Hold on. Let me go back. See, family. Go back. Uh, uh, where's the list? The relations. Aww, lots of respect, but dislike for Vinefur, who I believe is the deputy. Yes? The profile. Why is the game not letting me view profile? I hate that. So rude. I know, how rude, game. Back. Vinefur is the deputy, so yes, okay. So we will also. I already mentioned he doesn't like. Okay. Um, is not comfortable with Evelyn. Okay, now I need to go back to Evelyn. Poor Evelyn Whiskers. She just joined this clan. Is like. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Enjoy your ice cream for breakfast. Thank you, kiddo. Oh my goodness, kiddo. All right, go go to your thing, kiddo. Um. Oh, hi, Grandma! My grandma has joined the chat! Grandma! Hello! It says, gr hello, Grandma! So, Grandma, this stream is a video game stream. We're playing a story-building game where we are interconnectively writing a story at the same time using a random event generator. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, I really appreciate your moderation of chat. We haven't had issues so far, but I appreciate you coming to join in, and if you want to stick around while we develop story, you can always give feedback about the story. If you have any ideas. Um, so yeah, everyone say hi to my grandma! Hello, grandma! <laughs> um, okay, so we are at Evelyn Whisker's story. Eva... <laughs> Evelyn 
was a kitty pet who was abandoned at the beach. Ooh. Abandoned at the beach and joined Tide Clan only to find it uh, being a hostile place. Okay, I have an idea she... that would be horrible but wonderful for Evelyn and Kit. Oh no, oh no, oh no, abandoned what's going at on? The beach. What if she washed up in a bag? Oh. Oh no, that's horrific! But it's good writing, right? That is, because a... you've got the ocean right there. Like, oh, the that's horrific! Though they, they fished her out of the water. Like maybe they saw the bag and tried to fish it out, thinking it was prey, and then like, no, it's a baby in there. Well, Evelyn is fifty-five moons old, so that would make her roughly four and a half years old. So I don't okay. think we could do it as a kitten, unfortunately. But, still, like, but an even adult, adult cat. cats, yeah. Yeah, even an yeah, adult yeah. cat washed up in a bag. Oh my gosh. Oh. So, Grandma, uh, you know I'm interested in a book series called Warrior Cats. This is a game generated by the fans to create new stories using the world that the book used. It's really cool. Um, and Grandma, if you're having issues uh, chatting to me in live time, it is literally because I'm running two streams uh, just to, to keep the, the thing going. So I will uh, chat with you on, on Facebook if that's easier for you. Um, if there's anything specific you want to add. Um, but yeah, no, it's really cool to see you here. Uh, I'm really happy. That's so cool. Thank you so much for supporting me. Well, I added, okay. I added some notes about the kit, new kit in my cat clan, Vixen Kit, who okay. was abandoned by a kitty pet. So it's like her mom didn't want her to be taken away by two legs, so she gave her to the clan to raise until she could come back for her. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Hold I'm, on. I'm all ready to to skip one moon when you are. I did my patrol. I really not. I've had so many things to write. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I love hearing about it. So this is fun. Vine. What is his name again? Vine. What was my? Vine I gotta first? make it a little like. Yeah. Vine fur. Yeah. Um. Vine for he's 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 literally an internet archaic joke. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quickly send my cats on patrol. I'll let you know if something happens. Okay. Sounds good. Also, I just have to say I love that Apricot Tails, the first like apprentice maid warrior for Bowstar, because Bowstar is only three mo moons older than Apricot Tail. Aww. Like literal babies together. Oh, right. Narspaw's new mentor is uh, Fluttering Mouse, who is extremely loyal and extremely smart. That's good. <laughs> uh, okay. We've got one more patrol to go. Nice. I am sending Evelyn along with Ant Peak, who they don't like each other. Yes, drama. Oh, no! They catch the scent of a fox, but is it gray or red? Ooh. I'm just I'm just paying attention here. Uh your drives gray fox kills the cubs. Holy crap, it's brutal that these fluffy little foxes would one day grow to be kit killers and thieves. Better to deal with them now than when they're uh Wow That is like omen after omen of like Fox Clan our clan killing Fox Clan. Gonna say it now. I know. Right, Grandma, I'm playing the ant antagonistic role. Um, oh, see you, Isaiah. Um, I'm playing the ant antagonizing role of this narrative, so I'm the villain. <laughs> Even though I'm All right, the I'm ready villain to... of Mole Moon. Yeah, yeah right? right? Although, to be fair, he is the one like, uh, is this working? Yes, I can see your comment. I don't know if you're actively chatting, but I can definitely see you are uh there and chatting so it is working just slowly if that makes sense yeah yeah 
Um, so you are there, and uh, as long as you are uh, can hear my voice, it might not be in live time. You might have to refresh the page and go to the end of the video um, uh, dragger. Okay, we're going to go on to the next event. Alrighty, time skip one moon. Time skip one moon. Nothing interesting happened to this moon. Okay, I am going to time skip one moon. Elm- Oh, shoot! What happened? <gasps> Elmpaw carefully touches the nose with their new mentor, Vinefur, and is looking quite intimidated and nervous. Oh remember, my gosh. remember, Vinefur is the deputy who doesn't like outsiders, and of course, Narspaw and Elmkit were involved in trying to stop the coup. So, he is very suspicious of her, and I imagine he only became her mentor to keep a really close eye on her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Everyone is having negative effects for the most part. The clan is being rude to each other. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's- Elmpaw complains about something Narspaw did. Okay. I'm going to take a screenshot of that window, and because it's Elm Paw is the main character. Oh, hi, Pixel. Yeah, no worries. No need to stick around. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly come back to Discord here. Um. Oh, and hi, Tiny Draws. Cool to see you around, even if it's for a short time. It's really cool to have people in here. Uh. So that's. By the way, if you need to use uh the Discord chat uh Rook to take notes, please do. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. We can definitely and... tell the differences. Yeah, Mortail and Apricot Tail are having interesting feelings about Bowstar. Oh bet... shoot. Or at least Mortail is. I bet Mortail is the one that told the ugly rumor to Apricot Tail. I'm gonna say Mortail believes that Bo Bowstar did something to Mole Moon because they didn't see the full after effects of the coup. They just heard he died, so they don't know what happened. Yeah. They do not know what happens. Okay, I'm going to quickly update everyone and then go on patrol. There's a lot of writing to be had. Um, history. Okay, I wrote down more tales, suspicions of Bowstar, that she, that she thinks Bowstar did something to Molestar to cause him to step down as leader. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, you guys can do your own stuff while you listen. It is mainly a listening game, right? Because we are narratively doing story building. Um. Okay, I need to go... Why is my clan only one page? Where is everyone? <laughs> no, literally every. I swear to God, my clan is so small. I only have... Uh, ten cats. What happened? Well, I guess we did have to kill Mole... <laughs> Mole Moon. Apricot Tail calms themselves down by thinking how Star Clan will see to things. Apricot Tail is really freaked oh. out about the drama with Bowstar. Okay, cool. I have saved. <gasps> oh my god, I love Apricot Tail! And the tail is actually different! Oh, that's so cute! I know, isn't he beautiful? Oh my god! Okay. 
Uh, Elmpaw is craving the taste of frog, which is very interesting. Cute. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly, uh, go through. Curious about the other clans. Vine, uh, Vinefur is carefully watching Fox Clan. Uh, Shimmering... Mm -hmm. Of course Vinefur uh, there are... would be. It's so suspicious. Yeah. Currently there is flies irritating the cats. Uh, Flutter Mouse is thinking about Kit. Uh, adult male. Maybe we should look at his relations and see if we pair him up with anyone who has a uh, good, uh, good, good bonding. Um, and Nurse Paws definitely thinking of uh, Fox Clan. And yeah, okay. Uh, and then of course Fog Star or Frog Scar is complaining about uh, things. So uh, when it comes to Fluttering Moon, let's look at her relations. She very much likes, or he very much likes Vine. Oh, they could be gay. Oh! I love that. Oh, but very much likes Shard Star. Platonic-like, respect, and comfortable, and has more trust. Okay. I think... Oh, and is jealous of Evelyn Whisker. Oh, that's interesting. Dang! And is jealous of Sharp Strike. Okay, okay. I think uh, I'm going to flip a tail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I think small clans are easier to manage. <laughs> I do agree with that. Tiny Wait, girls. are we on? Are we on the fifth moon already? Uh, let's double check the events page. We oh. are on four moons, so the next moon will be the last uh, peaceful moon before we randomly kill somebody. Yep. Okay. So with that being. Said I was looking at my cats and I was going to have Fluttering Moon choose a mate between uh to be in a relationship between ah come on uh between Shard Star or Vinefur. Mm. Um so we are going to flip a coin. Heads it's um uh the leader and tails it's Vinefur. Three, two, one. It's Tails! They are in love. Oh, I keep forgetting Vinefur is a female. It's official! Here we go. Yes. They are now together. Okay, I'm going to quickly update uh, his history, and then we can skip to the next moon. Just while we're here, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um... I'm just writing down some quick notes, because some of my characters have gotten to green levels of platonic love. Oh, mine are only still at, like, gray, but I think because Fluttering was thinking about kits, it only makes sense that as a clan survival tactic, they are together. Yes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Okay, so I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, the first characters to get to green levels of platonic love are both Bowstar and Rowan Whistle for each other. Rowan Whistle's my wise old elder. He is definitely taking a mentoring role with Bowstar to help him lead. Oops, I forgot to go on patrol. Give me a second. I'm gonna okay. just put everyone... I'm only gonna do one big patrol and one medicine cat patrol, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like we can only have six at a time. That's cool. Okay. Uh... Ooh. A Tide Clan member uh, snuck off. Or I'm going to call it sneaking off. Uh, mm -hmm. Has wandered through the section of the border. But is not deemed a threat situation. We're going to put this in the Discord just to make sure. I am making sure if I have a story note to be had there. Okay, oh. patrol again. We're going to throw... I really should pair the you mentors know who that in that was. That was Whistlekit re recently. When oh, that's Whistlekit right! When Whistlekit saw uh, Mole Moon by the border, the ghost. That makes sense. That makes sense. Go on patrol. Oh. Oh. Uh... But Star Clan, it tastes terrible. They just harvest a bunch of really nasty tasting herbs. Okay. <laughs> we can do the one month skip now. 
And I have OBS to calm down. Okay. Uh, ready, set, go! Alright, you do your time skip first, and then I will catch up to you in a moment once I'm done looking through all the relationships. And also, I think I need to patrol, patrol as well. Nothing interesting happened this moon. <laughs> there is relationship stuff, so we will go on. Um... Oh, uh, Nurse Paw and Elm Paw keep fighting. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. What was your ooh first? Uh, mentor and a pr uh, and uh, Vinefur, who's uh the 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 deputy, is having issues with Nurse Paw, who of course was um uh in engaged in the coup. Mm. I really hope we get more inter-clan issues between our, each of our clans. Well, I had, I had an interesting patrol thing in my fourth moon. The patrol saw something confusing, like a creature they had never seen before. It turned out it was a Ooh. maned wolf, a nearly mythical-sized fox. Oh, snap! That is a sign from Star Clan. Oh, yeah, that is an omen. I'm, I'm... I would take that and screenshot it. That is a really cool event, and if we draw fan art for this stream, like that is something I would want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pin this. Yes, pinning it in chat. That is so cool. That we are going to have to figure out how to narratively fit into this story. I love this game. It's really creative. Like I love how creative this game is. Right. And if you guys uh, want to support us in any way, just a reminder: we do have a coffee page. Each of us. Um, if you like our work, consider donating. Yeah. Okay, I time skipped to my fifth moon. So Bite Paw has been apprenticed to Tumble Strike, the Aww. blessed cinnamon Aww. roll who loves everyone. And Bowstar earned a scar defending the territory. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, oh, we had another another glimpse of Mole Moon the ghost. Tumble Strike <gasps> bumped into him at the clan border. Oh shoot, take a screenshot, make sure we pin it. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Elm Kit just uh, Elm Paw just learn Nurse Paw um Nurse Paw has learned about death berries. Ooh. Oh. Uh I'm going to put it in the chat and I'm going to uh, cautiously update that. And then after we go on patrols, we should, uh, figure out which cat to kill. Yes. Assuming no cat has died on a patrol. Keep that in mind. Yes. Apricot Tail is getting more suspicious of Bowstar. More Tail's oh, rumors are getting to shit. him. Oh, shoot! I gotta make a note of that. Oh my gosh, and then, like, Apricot Tail's acting so suspicious of Bowstar, and Bowstar's response was to remind Apricot Tail to make sure to eat something. <laughs> like, Apricot Tail, you're acting really weird. Like, are you hungry? Do you need something to eat? Go, go, go get a mouse. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh, let me make a note of, of that. Okay, okay. Got that note. That was the most interesting things from the from the updates. Let's take a look at Bo starts bragging about how much prey they caught. Oh yeah. Okay, and then I gotta go. I think Elm. I think that was the only thing I wanted to update on mine. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, right. And I should also Wait, make note. Who's in... the deputy? I forgot to even check that after Bo Star got uh, promoted. Yeah, who's the deputy? <laughs> who's on the deputy? 
Because I just got apricot tails refusing to follow the deputy's recent orders due to their own morals. So what is going on here? Apricot tails really stepping up. Okay, let's see. Bite Paw is rethinking his life choices now that he's an apprentice. <laughs> oh no! He changed from daydreamer to lonesome. He had no friends because Whistle Paw, Whistle Kit was mean to him. Aww. No, for real though, who's the who's the deputy? Allegiances. Oh, Bostar's still the deputy. There's been no deputy. <laughs> because technically, like, that's so funny because we exiled Molestar. I don't think it was baked into the game's code how to handle that. Mm hmm Yeah. So maybe Bostar's just been acting as a uh, deputy alone, too, like in this whole time. So let's. Let's see if we can change someone else to be deputy. It might not even let us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that he's going to make Tumble Strike deputy because Tumble Strike is blessed. Mm -hmm. Nope, I can't. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. So <laughs> beca until Molestar is dead, I cannot make a deputy. That's hilarious. Your clan, Star Clan, is telling you a message to pick a deputy using, uh, if you don't mind my adding, uh -huh. uh, the maned wolf as a message, right? Oh, you yeah. need something strong and powerful, but the clan is in such a uh, delay. Um, that means Apricot Tail is refusing to follow Bowstar's orders. <gasps> oh my god, you're right! Oh, that creates so much drama! It does. Oh, see, this is great, too, because these two would have been kits together. Like, mm -hmm. these two have known each other. Maybe there was, like, drama when they were kids that's also, like, hanging on. Oh, my gosh. You know who is also feeling lonesome? Mm -hmm. Elm Paw. Oh, our main characters are both so lonesome. I know. So I'm going to read her story. Uh, Elm's kit mother died and is close to Shimmer Throat as foster mother, who is the medicine cat. She helps out where she can, but she is insecure and anxious as the clan situation is ever changing. That was our first note in the first minute. We should actually be putting, like, which moon we are taking notes. Right. Oh, well. Uh, after think... sneaking out of the camp, she spies Molin plotting treason with her... With... Add that. With her adopted sister, Narspaw, being manipulated into the plot. Elmkit watches Mool Moon's death. Shardstar and Vinefur are watching Elmpaw carefully. Elmpaw and Narspaw's relationship is strained as they both process the events. Um, after going on patrol with Narspaw, she feels like her adopted sister is becoming further and further away from her emotionally. After falling into a creek and being saved by Vinefur, her mentor, men, men, men for who is cold and seemingly, because I want to make sure there's room for a change, um... Uh, uh, spying and no, wait, seemingly non caring. Uh, no, wait, hold on. Uh, saved by her mentor. That's for now. We can make that story beat as we change, if things change. Uh, as Nars Paw was looking at plants, because remember, Nars Paw found death berries. Mm. So if you go to Nars Paw's story, let me go to her story. Uh, Nurse Paw was the apprentice of Mole Moon, the traitor who joined Tide Clan and manipulated her into almost committing treason. She's close with Elmkit, but is scared of uh, Stripe. Uh, Stripe Strike. Uh, she is so caring for Elmkit, acting like an older sister. As Nurse Paw deals with the death of her mentor, she shelters herself away more and more. She complains about how annoying Elm Paw is clinging to her. Uh, and Elm Kit over or Elm Paw hears this and is shocked uh, that her caring adoptive sister is upset with her. While on patrol, Nurse Paw finds death berries. Uh, oh. Vine, her, the mentor of Fluttering Moon and Deputy, is keeping a close eye on her due to her involvement in the coup by her old mentor, Mole Moon. 
Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, I think I we're almost ahead. almost to the point of choosing who dies randomly this clan or this move. Yes. But I did, did go out on patrol first, and I do have a patrol thing. It's the patrol oh. finds a kitty pet who is interested in joining the clan. Do they okay. proceed or antagonize? Let's flip a coin. Heads, they proceed. Tails, they antagonize. Heads, we proceed. Okay. Ah, and Princess Fur, and she brought babies. Oh my gosh. Can I look? Can I look? Yes, yes, please do. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta refresh your babies. page. Okay, I gotta refresh your page, and I think I have to uh, it's turn laggy, off my so. side of the stream. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off the background music, and I'm going to look at seeing about which windows I can close here. There we go. She that lived on a should boat. help me. She lived on a boat. Hold on, let it update for me. Hold on, it's still not there. It's you're moving your mouse around. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, Princess Fur is looking around the camp with wonder. So, sorry, what was her history? Can you click that for me? Yes, I did, and it's currently open, so it'll ah. update when the lag gets. Princess Fur used to live on something called a boat with the two legs, but decided to join the clan. Oh, so and these are her babies. Let me click on them. There's Basil Kit. Basil Kit. Okay. Attention. Basil seeker. Kit. Okay little boy and wisteria kit which i love that um oh, she's quiet oh my god oh my god oh my oh, god i love them oh my god that is extremely good yeah oh my god that look is so cute i know right it is so cute oh my goodness Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, that is so cute! And Wisteria Kid's so cute too! I have to watch it lagged, unfortunately, but oh, that's so cute! Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We're gonna pause and make sure that, like, I can catch up with modern events. So, okay, we're gonna do our kill count. Okay. Ready? So let me pull up my cat so, list. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 1 through 14, whatever I, number I generate is the one that dies. Are you ready to do yours too? I am just loading up a number generator right now. Um, Give it one second. Okay. Uh, 1 through 10 for me. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Set, go. I got number um, two. What'd you get? Hold on. Sorry, no, I hit the wrong button. Oh. Okay, and stopping the, the thing. Uh, it is not stopping. <laughs> it is just counting the numbers. Why are you not working? Oh, because you have to hit the start and stop. Okay, so sorry. Um, I'm going to hit it one more time. Just... Because I didn't understand how this thing worked. Sorry about mm, that. No worries. Number Don't seven. Worry. Who's your number seven? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ant Peak. Oh, you're gonna. You're, this is mine is terrible. You wanna know what mine is? Oh. Whoa. Number twelve, which is Vixen Kit. Not the poor kitten. She just wanted to be a warrior. Her mom left her with the clan thinking she'd be safer there. Sorry, to Vixen Kit. Kill. Yeah, and I'm gonna kill Ant Peak. That is so sad. Ant Peak is, is dead. Rip Ant Peak and Vixen Kit. I'm gonna add a note. I'm gonna say that a fox broke through the clan through the tunnel wall into the nursery. Yeah. Cause of Ant Peak's death is unknown. Okay, I'm going to... Was Ant Peak anyone's mentor? I'm gonna quickly check my clan for a second. Okay, I'm making a note for myself and I'm gonna write it no. in, in Discord, but... 
if I get the next female kitty pet that I that I get after year after moon six is going okay. to be Vixen Kit's mom coming back for her. Okay, that makes sense. That makes total sense for the narrative. Absolutely. I can appreciate that. I can absolutely appreciate that. For sure. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Aunt Peak's death is unknown. Because if there's any kind of drama, we should know about it. Yeah. Alright. Aunt Peak is dead. Unfortunately. Okay. You ready to go on to the next moon? I think so. Oh, I hadn't put I hadn't gone on patrol yet for this moon. Okay, I'll let you go on patrol while I check my cat's uh, faction levels. Oh, right, because I did the one patrol with the main fox, but then I got distracted. Yeah, no one's in green yet. So, if oh, no, wait, Vine Fur is in green with... Uh, Fluttering, the cat, he is, uh, having a, um, oh, platonic love with Bogstar, the elder. Um, um, yeah. Narspaw, he still dislikes, so we're still staying narratively true, okay. He very much likes Shimmering Throat, that's cool. He is slowly starting to respect Evelyn Whisker. Oh. Uh... Oh, we have Vinefur and um, them getting long. That's good. That's good. I don't see anything terribly different. Evan Lisker is slowly getting liked by the clan. That's good. Um, Nurse Paw is still very much uh, <laughs> not doing well. Oh. Nurse Paw dislikes. Uh, 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 Stripe Strike, which is reasonable, considering she just watched him kill somebody. Right. And she is actually very much comfortable, respecting, and uh, has a platonic relationship with uh, Shardstar with a little bit of dislike. She is liking, disliking Elmpa more than liking. But she does trust her, which I should take a screenshot of. This is Moon 5. Now I'm ready. I did have on my patrol Jewel Stripe had a Star Clan vision. Oh, ooh. So, wonder what that was about. We'll we'll retcon that to be interesting when new things show up. Yeah. Okay. So I'm ready even to... though Nars Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say I'm ready to time skip when you are. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go uh Elm Paw and then checking on everyone's relationships, you know? Yeah. Um, very much dislikes Nars Paw, but still likes her very much. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, and then Fog Scar really, really, really likes Vine Fur. So, okay. Dude. I am ready to skip one moon if you are. I am too. We are live streaming, so if you guys are having lag, just make sure to reload the page. One, two, three. Moon skip. Alrighty. Wisteria Kit gave Bite Paw a pretty J feather, so our boy has an accessory that he wears. Beautiful. And I am going. I also have an event like that, actually. <gasps> what is yours? I'm just writing it down. Nice. Vine fur. Okay. So Vine fur Ooh. gives Fluttering Mouse his um, platonic friend slash mate through necessity. Uh, a uh, fluttering mouse, a laurel plant to adorn her pelt. Oh. Oh, yours is way cuter. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is so sweet. Also, guess who's Whistlepaw's mentor? Who's Whistlepaw's mentor? Bowstar. Oh, shoot. Seriously? Yeah. That's so cool. He took on the, the bossy little kit to... To teach her Aww. all on his own. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to... You know what? I'm going to actually open up a notepad, because that'll be easier for me just to copy and paste the notes as I see them here. Good plan. Yeah, okay. Also, I Bi love story building games. This is I fun. Know, right? Bipaw let Wisteria Kit share her troubles with him, hoping they'd feel better afterwards. That's why she gave him the feather! It's because he's being a good friend.
Apricot tails joking about Tide Clan with Bite Pop. <laughs> I hate that it's called Sharing Tongues, but just for Grandma to understand, Sharing Tongues in the Warrior Cats book series is like grooming each other and being social. Um, just so that people who are not warriors people in this stream will know that. <laughs> It is a weird term that just literally means they are having a conversation and being cats. Uh... Also, Princess Fur's kid is like, I hope you're my mentor when we become an apprentice. Uh... Uh... That's so, so cute. cute! I think, yeah, ba Basil kids the boy and Wisteria kids the girl. I thought so, but I was, wasn't sure if I remembered. That is so cute! Okay. Um, shimmer throw. <gasps> They're on his tail. Bite paws feathers. A nurse paw to get food. Ah. Uh. Aww. Hold on, I gotta make a narrative out of this. There's a lot of things going on between Elmpaw and uh, Nursepaw. Oh my gosh, yes please. And Sharp Strike. You know, the cat who did the yeah. murder? The, yeah, the, yeah. The, the rescue murder? Yeah. Or, no, the defending of the clan. But you, in this case, he did technically kill a cat in, in self-defense. In defense. Um, I, gotta, I gotta write a narrative that I can both copy and paste to all three of these guys's... Um, bios. So, I'm gonna have it so that, um, Vine, or, um, sh uh, Vine Fur tells Sharp Strike to have a talk with his apprentice about the, um, death of Mole Fur and offer, not Mole Fur, Mole Moleman, and offer support the free um, um dis despite elm pa elm pa ah, can't write elm pa's efforts to avoid nurse pa they bump into each other and as vine fur reminds uh nurse paw to eat they share food and are joined by sharp cry sharp sharp ah strike where they talk their feelings about the situation out. There we go. That is my thingy. Nice. Also, this is really funny. I didn't, I forgot this, but this is funny. Bo Star mm -hmm. is Apricot Tail's mentor, which makes no sense because he's only three moons older than she is. So yeah. I'm going to think her previous mentor was Mole Moon's mate. And then Bo Star oh. took over the apprenticeship. Yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of back history between those two for Apricot Tail to then be mistrustful of Bo Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so an event happened while I was on patrol that involves Fox Clan. Oh, one second, let me write this down for Bo Star. Yeah, yeah. Do your writing. Get ready for writing more. This is so fun. I love. Um... Oh, Fritzy! Hello. Welcome to the chat. And hello, Nico Arts! Welcome to the chat as well! We actually just hit a really eventful month moon for the clan. <laughs> this is really cool! Um, so when you're ready, let me know. Um, the patrol is made up of all our main characters, so good! Uh, a patrol made of... Star... Star... Fine for fluttering mouth. 
poop got a lovely laurel branch from fine fur as a token of their relationship because I didn't add that from the last man. Um, and Narse Paw and Elm Paw are on patrol and smell a or are and are renewing orders when they know, notice the scent of box plan. Oh god, it's gonna get good. Also, I've we're... prepared the dialogue if you need. Okay, quick, yeah. quick note before we jump into your to your event, I am making apricot tail trans female because I keep thinking of her as Fuck a girl. Yeah. Let's go! Yes, so, sorry for swearing, but yes, no, you're good. I love so it. She, Let's she, go. She and Bo Star are T are T for T. <laughs> yes. Okay. I so love it. What what happened with Fox Clan? Okay. Well, I haven't moved forward yet because I have to proceed or antagonize. Okay. What 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 is it? Okay, we're gonna have, say heads for proceed, tails for antagonize. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Tails, they antagonize. Here we go. Oh, what happened? Did they run into a patrol? Your clan stands tall and approaches the Fox Clan cats with insults and threats. They need to be sure that Fox Clan knows how strong Tide Clan is. Nurse Paw spits and hisses until the other patrol leaves, intimidated by how we are acting. Oh. I am going to write this here and you can figure out which cats are going to be on that patrol if that works for you that works so for i'm just going to quickly i'm just going to quickly write this down i'm going to so send you my can go ahead on... and do your patrol yeah i'll send my cat some cats on patrol and we'll see which one has the closest event to that to then decide mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. Uh, into the Fox Clan patrol. First Ooh, Whistle Paw catches the scent of a fox and tracks it down. Oh, and they chase the fox off. That that could be a good patrol that runs into then. Yeah. Your group. Performer mentor. There we go. There we go. Okay. I've written down the events. I will send them to you. You can choose to add or change the details as needed for your side of the story. Sounds good. Okay, and then when I'm done patrolling, I will copy and paste my notes. This is way faster than me doing it individually for each cat. I'm still taking the time to write it, but now I can just copy and paste, if that makes sense, guys. Yeah. I appreciate your guys' patience as we uh, engage in this story-building event. It's kind of like D&D &D, uh, for cats. I really think of it like that, you know? Okay, they go on patrol. Okay, nothing new happened. I'm quickly gonna go through my events and if you find- or my, um, clan affection and checking. Ooh. Elm Paw feels unappreciated. Alright, okay, let's go into relationships. Chartstar is getting close to Nurse Paw. I'm going to change her history and add that in. Chartstar is on edge and is keen on 
protecting her position as leader. However, we can see how the young princesses, the only young cats in the clan, I will say, mm -hmm. clan, six moon into clan at time are struggling with the traumatic events they were wept into and tries her best to support them from the side. Here we go! Boom! Save that! Shardstar, awesome. Uh, I'm going to keep that. And we're just going to copy and paste this into all three. I hope we are, I hope this, 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 this text thing doesn't get, um, overwhelmed. Uh, Shimmering Throat. Whistlepaw and Bitepaw have become actual friends. She protonically loves him. That's so cute. Here we go. That saved. Um... Um, also, I made a note for Wisteria Kit. Her mom really, really loves her brother, but doesn't love her as much. So I'm like, that's part of the worries that she shared with that with Bite Paws. She's like, I don't think my mom likes me that much. No. Poor baby. It's not a part of his situation. So we will exit that. Repairing the damage bond between clan mates for now. Cool. I am putting that there. Uh, next cat. Fluttering Mose is exhausted from the patrol. I bet you are! Sorry, we're very quiet. There's just a lot to write down, so we right. really appreciate you guys sticking in and, and uh, um, getting it together. I'm just writing in Fluttering Mouse's story with her relationship with Finefur. I've looked through everything, I've done my patrols, so once we're done writing stuff down, which I am done writing my stuff yeah. down, I'm ready to skip to Moon 7. Okay, I've locked in Fluttering Nose, Evan Whisker, I gotta put in the text for Nurse Paw. Uh, let's save that. Text for Elm Paw. She is in. Cool. Okay. Next, next, and that's it. Okay, I am ready to go on to Moon 7 as well. All right. Three, right. two, one. <gasps> Whistlepaw falls okay. into a river but is saved by Mortale. Oh, yay! What one. other events? That's the only one. <laughs> okay, I've one. got two events. What are your Bog Scar the Elder earned a scar defending the territory, and Evelyn Whisker, the kitty pet, is injured after falling into the river. Oh dang. The river there's is also a re recently, I guess. Yeah, there's also a relationships tab where there are some things. Um Oh no. They're all getting more negative. Oh no. <gasps> we have another mole moon sighting. We have two oh. mole moon sightings. Three mole oh my moon God. sightings. The man Three mole moon sightings. Okay. 
So I'm going to have it so he is haunting Nurse Pa in her dreams. <gasps> yes. Because I have so many negative events for Nurse Pa right now. She's, um, um, Fluttering Mouse, her mentor, is uh, increasingly uncomfortable with her. Um, Nurse Pa also gets into another fight with Elm Pa. So yes. Yes. I wish there were a way to, like, kill Molestar on my end, because otherwise everyone's just going to keep <laughs> no. having... He's going to keep showing up forever, because he has eight lives. I know. Uh... I really wish I had killed him when I had the chance, but oh well, lesson learned. I had never tried to kill someone before. Yeah, well, hey, you know what? It does make for cool Star Clan shit. It does, it does. Or firing, but yes. Uh... By Mole Moon Dark Forest, and this is affecting her really shit with a fluttering mouse and elm paw. There we go. That's that's that. And then I'm gonna keep going down through the events. Oh shit! Vinefur and uh, his mate Fluttering Mouse are getting in a fight. Oh no. Um, I think, think Whistlepaw's getting haunted especially by Mole, Molestar. Because Mole. mm -hmm. she's seen him twice now. Okay, and then health. That's it. Okay. I am ready to go check on my clan and make more notes. It's very interesting that I had a cat fall into the water. Right. Uh, this is, uh, like, I'm sorry we're quiet, but there's just so much story stuff going on. It is really cool. It really is. Uh, let's check on her relations. No change. Cool. Okay. Uh, craving the taste of frog, running low, woke up on the wrong side of the nest, had a nightmare involving the river. Okay. Elvin Whiskers waiting. Oh my god, she's got a scar on her face! <gasps> oh my god! Elvin oh Whisker! God. She's the one who fell into the river and now she's got a scar on her face! She oh, must have baby. hit her head! Oh, poor Babu! Here, I'll send I'll send a picture of her to you. Because I know the stream is slow. Um. Oh my god, Evelyn Whisker! <gasps> She's so thrown into a bag, into the ocean, rescued by a clan that's really, like... <gasps> that's a heckin' big scar. Evelyn Whisker. She almost drowned again. This poor poor lady. Um, going on a patrol in Moon 7, she falls into the water, and I'm gonna say our leader... Evelyn is Tiny Draw's favorite character so far. Holy smoke. Uh, and is rescued by Jard, Star, and Narf's Paw, just to keep our main characters available. Uh, and wounds her face. The briny water not helping the heal and has left her face scarred and dry. I know salt water is not good for the skin. Is she gonna have a villain arc? I don't know. But I do know that she currently definitely is not appreciated in the clan and is seriously struggling. Right? You know who um, I think I might give a villain arc to is Whistlepaw. Ooh, I'm excited to see that. She's strict. And, like, Mole Moon keeps visiting her, and I could see her, like, trying to pull her to the Dark Forest to train her. 
and her being oh like, my god being like no yes. one else pays attention to the true warrior code like like you do yeah yeah so i said in her history because she also felt she spotted Mo mole moon this moon but also fell in the river she spotted him in the river when she fell in what? and like he tried to talk to her then because she was so close to death but then more more tail fished her out before she could reply Oh, snap! Ooh, whistle paw. And it's funny because she's also... Yeah, we're going to have to find some overlap. Oh, this is so interesting because she's also the, the like one who was bossy to our main character, Bite Paw, who's mm -hmm. finding himself. And so she's probably like... This is, this is the Ivy Pool to Dove Wing relationship. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's too good. I am so good. glad we have access to all this. This is amazing. Right? I love this edit. I love this. Mm-hmm. It's so sad. Nurse Paw is so loving, but she can't trust. Oh, poor baby. And Film Paw is so lonesome. Oh, poor baby. Our main characters really are uh, hit by the situation. Oh, and Bob Star poor Scar's tail. He's... Ah! Poor Babu! Aww. Tail is all beaten up. Uh, what was that by? I'm gonna double check that, because I think that was this event, wasn't it? Earned a scar defending the territory. Okay, we're gonna say it's from the main fox, because that would tie into your events. If yes. that works for you. That works for me. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go back into the cat's list. Go to fog star. History. Enter text. Fog. Scar, Moon, Seven, fights off the main fox, main wolf, sorry, fox, um, from Tide Clan territory, and is wounded on his tail, tying into, um, uh, uh, fox, Land's prophecy. Yeah. Okay, I'm about to send everyone on patrol. I'll let you know if something happens. Sounds good. Yeah, I just did all my patrols, and it was pretty basic stuff, except that one of them, Mortail and Whistlepaw, had an argument, and Bo Star had to figure out a compromise between them. So I'm like, I don't know if that was about the river falling incident. It might have been about the river falling incident. Yeah. Just more Star Clan vision stuff. Um, I will make a note of it in our Discord logs, but it's not necessarily important, I think, right now. Yeah. It's a note for the future. Okay, then I think we're ready to proceed to the next moon. Sounds good to me. Three, two, one. <gasps> Bow Star earned a scar fighting an otter. Where? Let me know when you're finished going through your events. His po his pelt is so patterned, I literally can't see where this. Oh, I think he got a bite scar on his neck. Okay. Let me know when you're finished reading out your events. Okay. Yeah, that was the only event. Let's see if there's anything interested in relationships. Okay, my event. Shard Star calls upon the clan to a meeting and declares Nars Pa to be a warrior. They are now Nurse Pelt and are celebrated for their generosity. Yes. Oh, yeah. someone else just spotted Mole Moon. It was Bite Paw. Mm -hmm. This man's going after the apprentices to sh sway them to his side. Oh, Apricot Tail saw Mole Star too. Both both Nurse Paw and and Bite Paw must like when they meet at a gathering, they must have like they must look exhausted. Right. And have like silent appreciation for how tired each other looks, but have no idea what the situation is. Yep. But there's that they're both being haunted by a ghost. Same ghost. He's just haunting everyone. I know, I know. Oh, oh. okay, okay. Right. Wow. 
exciting. That's anyways. incredible. Not really, just more rumor, bad rumors about Nurse Paul. Vine for congratulates her on uh, um, graduating to, to, to the thing, but otherwise I have to look at the characters and their relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, Mortale had a vision as well. Oh my god, she looks so cool as a warrior! <gasps> Ooh, send a picture I have to send, I will send a picture. She looks so cool! And her... Um, her, her, uh, behavior has changed, her, her personality trait has changed from, uh, like, compassionate and kind to strange and a fantastic teacher. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Being haunted has really done a number on her. Yeah, I think it really hurt her psyche. Um, and Elm Paw is still doing things. Okay, I'm gonna check on everyone's relationships. Um... Oh, I have one. I have one that has to do with your clan, a patrol thing. <gasps> oh, shoot. What is it? Bite Make sure Paw. to write it down in notepad. Yep. Bite Paw saw sees a rabbit on the other side of the Tide Clan border, a tempting opportunity to be sure, but it may not be like to hunt in a different clan's territory. Do we oh, shoot. Or do we antagonize? Flip a coin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Heads, we proceed. Oh, no one's around, so Bite Paw is totally fine. <laughs> yeah. Uneventful. Yeah. Skir is slowly being trusted by the clan. It is so slow going, though. And yeah. Nurse Pelt still hasn't reached green with anybody and actually very much dislikes uh, Stripe Shark still. Or St Shark. <laughs> that would be a cool name. Uh, Stripe Strike. I really. I should change his name to Stripe Shark just that for that ocean good. theme. Right? Um, okay, I will think about that if I continue to make mockery of his name. <laughs> uh, God, this is so cool. <gasps> Elm Pot's like totally in platonic love with Nars Pelt. Oh, that's so cute. Aww. There's jealousy, dislike, respect, and comfort, but like overall, she still really likes her adopted sister. Oh, so good. That is so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna send everyone on patrol now that I've checked all their things. Ooh, my medicine cat's getting pretty up there. I think Basil Cat or Wisteria Cat needs to be the med cat apprentice. Ooh, good luck! Like, they're not ready to be apprenticed yet, but we shall see. Apricot Tail dislikes Wisteria Kit. That's so funny. All right, yeah, nothing, nothing eventful happened. Oh, I'm gonna save. Oh, and Whistlepaw's friendship has been repaired. They are now close friends. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, and he has no that's idea exciting. that she's being haunted by the guy who he feels somewhat responsible for killing. Dude, that's he rough. Was a baby, and Mole Moon was like. Should I follow my heart, baby? And the baby said, I guess? And so he did, and the <laughs> heart guess. followed him to vengeance and death. And <laughs> Bite Paw feels responsible. Oh. Okay, I'm ready to moon skip when you are. Okay, I just need to write down the note about... Oh, um, yeah, the patrol. Well, the patrol, the, the note's in Discord, so I think it's okay unless some, that comes up later. But I do want to make a note okay. about um, Whistlepaw and... Um, by, mm. by pause relationship. Yeah, that makes sense. How's everyone doing in chat? It's a long one. It's been fun, though. How are you guys thinking about the stream? What are your thoughts? I'm really excited to hear it. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to Bite Paw. Give him the same note. Oh, it's so exciting. I'm excited for the next moon. I will say, once we hit moon 10, I think we're going to have to take a break. That works for me. We'll take, we'll end this clan gen session at, at you're waiting for the villain art, Tiny Draws. That's awesome. <laughs> thanks for, thanks for sticking with Tide Clan. You know, those Fox Clan cats are kind of, um... Uh, you know, they're kind of, they, they, they're very fox-hearted. 
if we can get to how old are our main characters my main character is eight is nine moons so if we can go three more moons then that'll get him to his warrior ceremony eight nine ten okay let me check mine uh elm yes three moons as well perfect because she's 10 minutes so we can stop this stream when they become warriors and continue then it <gasps> this yes. is a first first like first three book arc yeah that's how i picture it this is the first book because at the end of the first book is when you became a warrior too yeah 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 that makes Love sense it. okay we will have to like narratively strategize but i am so excited to make content oh. with you about this yes okay I'm ready to do the uh, ninth moon when Me you too. are. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Um, what Basil event did you get? I got two apprenticeships. Basil Paw and Wisteria Paw are both. Um, okay. I know who's going to be the Medcat apprentice. Basil Paw is mentored to Mortale, but looks quite intimidated and nervous. Whereas Wisteria Paw is apprentice to Jewel Stripe and looks quite eager to start training. I'm going to say Basil Paw wasn't ready to be a warrior and he actually would rather be a... He's a gentle soul! He is! Let me take a... He's playful. Yes, he... We're, we're changing his roles immediately. Switching to Medcat Apprentice. Because he is a gentle soul that wants to, to help people. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to look at the relationships. Bitepaw is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Whistlepaw. Those two have just become such good friends. Oh, I love you want, them. Okay. I do have one event. Vine okay. Fur received a scar defending the territory. Ooh. As you know, he is the deputy. So we'll have to look at him. The other thing is that... He, Fluttering Mouse, his mate, comforts him after he has a nightmare. Oh! I'm going to write that down in my notes. That's so cute. I will say, how about we... Because I keep running into patrols... It'd be interesting if our clans just keep having little border spats. I like that. Who do you think he'd get a scar from on your side? Ooh. Let me see. Definitely Apricot Tail. Because Apricot Tail was still mad at Tide Clan for both the whole mole moon dis dispute but also the time that nather paw like <laughs> insulted her across the border <laughs> and bowstar was like let it go it's not worth it and ape cut tails like it is definitely worth it taking my guys on patrol real quick and then i'll go through the relationships So, um, what I've got down is Vine first scarred in a battle against a Fox Clan patrol. Um, uh, cat Apricot Tail. When he has returned and gotten treatment, he has a nightmare from Mole Moon and is comforted by his mate, Fluttering Mouse. Ooh. Oh, okay. Here's my. Okay, so this, you know, I, I know I made Basil Paw the apprentice. The medkit mm -hmm. apprentice before the patrol, but for story's sake, this patrol happened after, mm -hmm. or it happened before, because Basil Paw had a Star Clan vision, and I'm gonna say that that's what informed Flicker Coral that Basil Paw needed to be her apprentice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta mm -hmm. note, I gotta note that in Basil Paw's history. So wait, um, sorry, what was that again? 
Oh, Basil Paw had a Star Clan vision while on patrol. And oh, fun! So I'm gonna say that that happened before Flicker Coral made him his apprentice at her mm. apprentice, and that's what that makes sense. Made her go, oh, this this kid's got Star Clan vibes. Mm -hmm. Should be my yeah. apprentice. I think Narse Pelt should fight your uh, Bone Bone Paw, and hesitates. And then lies to Vine for about it because I have Vine for catching Narse Pelt in a lie. Oh, tried to fight Bite Paw and then said no. Ooh. Yeah, Narse Paw, a new warrior, tries to prove herself in combat and encounters a spitting, hissing young Bone. Is it Bone? It's Bite. It's Sorry. Bite. Bite Paw. Bite Paw. I know. I know. Um, there's a lot of names to keep track of. Yeah, yeah there is. <laughs> Uh, I know she- I know they're- they're mean- you're- blah, 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 blah. I'm reaching the end of my brain. <laughs> uh, eager to fight. Nars. Help remembers. Remembers her time as a apprentice and one- and realizes she can't- hurts an apprentice and runs away from battle. Oh, actually, change it. Don't have it be Bite Paw. Have it be Wisteria Paw because she's young. She's the new baby apprentice. Oh, yeah. Okay. That would be like, she'd be looking at like, this is a baby. This is a oh, wait, hold baby. on. But we don't have any main character interactions. Oh, yeah, that's true. Let's keep it Bite Paw then. Well, let me back up. I have to rewrite that. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I uh, terrified of hurting a young cat. She runs, avoids combat. Is caught by Vine. Her, who is attacked. From behind by Apricot Tail. That is a cool narrative. Okay. That is very cool. cool. Okay, now we get to see what uh, Vine for Scar is. I'm very curious. Oh, he lost an ear! Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! Apricot Tail ripped off his ear! Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Oh my god. Okay, I keep saying Vinefur is a he. Mm -hmm. We're going to change. Tra trans, yeah. Yeah, we're going to make him trans. There we go. That makes it so much easier for me. It's not that, that they can't have a lesbian relationship, it's just, he comes off very masculine, you know? It's true, it's true. He's a righteous, kind-hearted speaker, and, like, he can, you know, be a trans man, and I love it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go into his history. Um, we're gonna do that. Done. Okay, then we're going to go to... Oh, <laughs> oh! Stripes, stripe, strike! Runs out of the den, heads heads first into battle, only to find out it was just storming outside. Oh, that's so cute. Um, Evelyn Whisker feels like she's going crazy. Nars Pelt recently wandered off during training and did not return until dusk. Oh, I am going to have that pinned. In our Discord chat, just in case. Yep, just in something case happened. Anything. Yeah, and, and just in case we need to refer to it later. Yep. Okay, yep. that's everyone's status. I'm gonna quickly uh, update. Narspa, I think Narspa and or Nars Pelt and Elm Kit are gonna be the main characters instead of having a uh, uh, an, an adult be the other one. Yeah. It just makes more sense. It does. It um, does. Okay. And then next, um, I'm going to make up a little narrative for this 
this uh, troll, I think. Elm Paw during the border skirm. Which is with um, her adopted mother. Um, what was her name again? She's the medicine cat. I should just know her name. I feel so bad. Shimmering throat, right. Look at Bipaw's relationship with Whistlepaw. I love him so much. And it's like the same, if not more, for Whistlepaw. Like, she loves Bipaw so much. They are such good friends. Oh my gosh, so good. All right, well, I've gone through all of my cats, all of their- Okay. Saved, and did I go on patrol? No, I have not. Have you? I did go on patrol, so go ahead and do your patrol. I don't think anything happened interesting on mine. Octopus, they catch the octopus. Nice. I really should just make sure all the cats that I indicated in the story are there, but eh. Troll. Missing cat. Shimmering throat about a dream. Cool. Shimmering throat gives advice. Um. Flaring mouse. Another cat. Don't take the responsibility. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna check everyone's relationship status just in case. It shouldn't changes. be much different. Yeah, I don't think it should be much different. Nope, not much different. Nope, not much different. Not much different. Uh, not much different. So Nurse Pelt and Elm Paw are definitely um, still doing really well, so that's cool. Um... And what about her mentor? Nope, okay. Um, Elmpa is like totally platonically loving her older sister, which is awesome. And Shimmering Throat and Fog Scar and Vine Fur are all good. Cool. Yeah, nothing nothing crazy. Okay, we can go to events. This is Moon Ten, which means this is the end. We're, weren't we gonna go oh. until they became warriors? Warriors, right, yes, right. Sorry, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Three, two, one. Moon skip. Ooh, I got a lot of I got a lot of uh of events. Okay, well, one of them is just a moot point. It's that Mole Star lost a life recently. He didn't, he's dead dead anyway. Mm-hmm. Whistlepaw tries to convince Basilpaw to run away together. I'm gonna that one makes no sense narratively, but I'll take I'll take a note of it anyway. A clanmate gives Wisteria Paw a pretty blueberry and they decide to wear it on their pelt. I'm going to say that was Bite Paw returning yeah. the favor for the feather. And Bowstar yeah. lost a life to a dog. First life lost. Damn! Okay, well, my event Shardstar rests their muzzle on Elm Blossom's head and declares them to be a full warrior of Tide Clan, honoring their intelligence. Oh my gosh, yes! Elm Blossom, that's so good! Okay, so this is interesting. You know how we just got into a patrol and um, Bite Paw uh, got paw, uh, didn't get into like they they have the thing. Yeah. There is a thing here saying Elm Blossom is uh, wowed by the bravery Nars Pelt uh, of Nars Pelt who fought the other day. Oh. So I'm gonna have it. Elm Blossom becomes a war warrior warrior and not knowing she avoided battle congratulates her 
and the clan's victory of the border skirmish. Uh, Marseille Pelt is ashamed. There we go. That is so cool. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check everyone's relations. Anything new on your end? I'm going through the relationships now. Let's see. Normal stuff. Rowan Whistle saw Mole Moon. I guess every he haunts everyone from time to time. Same with Whisper yeah. Freckle. Whisper Freckle and Mole Moon saw Mole Moon as well. At this point, it's so many characters that it's less interesting. I'm more interested in his interactions with Whistlepaw. Yeah. Whistlepaw I caught think... more tail in a lie. Was the lie about Bowstar? Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. I can see that that doing a thing. I've noticed something. What'd you notice? Well, Evelyn Whisker. Um, hold on. Is actually starting to have a platonic relationship with Stripe Strike. Who is the one who killed um, Mole Moon? So I'm thinking maybe we have a um, a lesbian relationship going on here. Mm. Both cats feel ostracized. So, uh, uh, um, I think for him, I said he was uh, terrified of cats outside the clan, and I think maybe they get together. Ooh, that would be good. Yeah, I think it would be like he realizes he was wrong. Yeah, okay. I just- I just saw... Basilpaw is developing a crush on Whistlepaw? I think- Here. Oh my gosh. I think that Whistlepaw made a joke with him. She was like teasing around with Bitepaw maybe and then folded Basilpaw into the joke of mm -hmm. like, you know... Well, if you feel that way, I'm just gonna run off, run off, run away from the clan. See, Basilpaw will come with me. Basilpaw, let's run away from here, start a new life together. And Basilpaw's like, what? What? And after that is just com completely smitten. <laughs> there we go. Sharp Strike doesn't trust her at first, but eventually develops feelings for her, and the two tr agree to try dating. Nice. I feel like that is a uh, simple enough explanation for what's happened. I would agree. Okay, Nurse gonna... Keld is starting to talk to bugs. <sighs> Did everyone die? Sadly, no, says Tiny. <laughs> Shelby asks, did everyone die? Okay, first off, I know the last clan gen stream I did, everyone ended up dying. I apologize. That seems to be, like, a thing that's really cool. Um... <laughs> yeah, no one, no one has died. We're gonna go until Bite Paw becomes a warrior, right? Yep. Yeah, so, um... Uh... Right, I gotta make sure that uh, Nurse Pelt's history gets updated. Yeah, yeah, Pelt, yeah I know, Shelby, you were there for that Clan Gen one. Um. Um. First pelt is ashamed. Here we go. I just copy and paste this. Boop. <gasps> Save. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yes. What? 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 Bowstar has had a crush on Tumble Strike this entire time. It has stayed the same, oh, yeah. small but persistent. And only recently it has now grown stronger, and Tumble Strike is starting to reciprocate. Oh, I gotta make it yeah. on Tumble on Tumble so Strike. Tiny, tiny draws. If you're interested in listening to that um, stream I did with the Frost Clan, the death of Frost Clan, 
Uh, you can watch it. It's one full stream, so there's no extra parts to it. It was one continuous stream with, um, I believe it was, like, every moon I flipped, a, like, I did a number generator and killed somebody. It had a couple of coin flip stuff in there. It's really cool. And, uh, I think you'll really like Blue Paw. Just saying. Okay, cool. Um, with that said, I'm ready to go on patrols. So I'm gonna just quickly do this and I'll let you know if something happens. All right, I'm still going through my relationships. Apricot Tail ah! continues to be close with Tumble Strike. So this is funny that Tumble Strike has a crush on Bowstar, and Bowstar has a crush on Tumble Strike, but Apricot Tail does not trust or like Bowstar. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have an interesting development. What's your interest? My tr patrol finds a kitty pet who is interested in joining the clan. They banter with the cat about a bit, making them feel more welcome. Ooh. Is Vinefur going to screw this up? Because remember, he doesn't like outsiders. Oh, yeah. So, proceeds is heads, antagonizes tails. Are we ready? Yes. Three, two, one. It's tails. Okay, <laughs> I gotta course. start writing. Of course, Vinefur drives him off. Um, Vinefur, Shards, Shard Star, and Fluffering Mouse. Ah! Mouse, go. Go on patrol and find a kitty pet. Though, Fluttering mouse and charred star are eager to talk and take in the kitty pet uh vine fur latches out here we go ready we're gonna antagonize do it your patrol approaches the loner and tells them firmly newcomers are not being taken in right now. The kitty pet seems disappointed and leaves anyway. <laughs> wow! That is a lot! Right? Okay, going on another patrol. They are doing a hunt. Oh, Shimmering Throat has to balance the plant's needs and the clans on their own frozen paws as they try to gather what leaves they can. The patrol sees their strength and gathers around them to support her. Oh, her adopted children. Her adopted children want to support her. Oh. Here's the thing. You can read it. It's very cute. Okay. Yes. And then that's it. I'm just going to check relationships and then we can go for the next moon. Nice. My, cl my cat's more tail, princess fur, and apricot tail drove off a fox that had killed a pronghorn deer. Wow! So they got a deer out. That's of it. cool. Also, it was it, I find it so hilarious. Bite paw and whistle paw have become like best friends. Whistle paw's haunted and might be erring towards evil, and bite paw is just a sweet, sweet lad who's lonely. But then, mm -hmm. like basil kit and basil paw and wisteria paw, the siblings are both like falling in love with those two. <laughs> Because Basil Paw's getting a crush on uh, Whistle Paw because of the joke she made. Mm. And Wisteria Paw is getting a crush on Bite Paw for giving her some uh, leaves to put in her hair and for being so nice to her. Those mm. two are completely oblivious to both of their existences, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh, that's so sweet! Okay, I forgot to make uh, Stripe Strike and Evelyn Whisker mates, so... Uh, I have done that this moon. Wonderful. Okay, I'm ready when you are to skip. Let me know when you are. Alright, I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one. <gasps> we have Bite Paws Mo a Warrior Ceremony. It is not as an interesting a warrior name as Elm Blossom, unfortunately. <laughs> what is it? Bowstar calls the clan to a meeting and declares Bite Paw to be a warrior. They are now called Bite Fur. <laughs> He bites his fur! He does. He's a nervous little lad. Well, you know what? There can always be an event where he changes his name to something you feel is more appropriate. True, but I like it. I like bright fur. It's cute. Okay, alright. Let's see. Um, we had our first deaths! Oh, oh no! What sad. happened? Uh, 
Rowan Whistle fell into a hidden burrow and was trapped in a cave-in who was buried alive. That was the wise shit. old elder that was best friends with Bowstar and was leading him and helping him to be a good leader. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Well, now we get our relationships. Does anyone grieve Rowan Whistle? No one grieves him because no one is that <laughs> close of friends with him yet, unfortunately. Oh. That's the tragedy okay. of the early game. When you get farther on yeah. and you have more characters that are up to the green, then they actually have grieving things. But I will come yeah. up with a grieving thing because Bowstar would definitely grieve him. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So I have an event. What's your event? Vinefur, the trans male deputy who is mm -hmm. in a relationship with Fluttering Mouse, is announced he, he is expecting kids. <gasps> yes! Congrats, Vinefur. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make sure I write this down. Vinefur. Whistlepaw saw and... Mole Moon again. Oh, shit. Uh, Vinefur and Fluttering Mouse decide that Vinefur... Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh... Fluttering Mouse wants to be a parent, parent but isn't certain if she would make a good mother. Fine. Um... Fine fur. Um, wants to su support her needs and understands his plan is in need of hits and decides to be the birth parent. That is so sweet. Aww. Okay. Let's look at the relationships. There's some elm blossom, small, funny, fine for fruit, delicious, sense of humor, takes the prey, Evelyn Whisker. Aww. Evelyn Whisker and Narspell are having good relations. Cool. I can now update these cats' things. Your cat, um,. We are going to go to Fluttering Mouse, go to their history. Uh, is there more things I missed out on? I think I didn't update. I did not update her on any of the whole batter battling thing. That is so funny. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> <coughs> Um, okay, she gets that bit of task, text. She's so sweet. I love her so much. She is a master level experience. Oh, oh man, Apricot Tail's developing a crush on Tumble Strike. We got a little love triangle going on here. Plan's about to blow up, I imagine. It's gonna be so cool. I agree, Shark Sight is a really cool name, by the way, Tiny Draws. I just saw that. Um, okay, I have updated their status. Just need to be like thinking their life choices. I bet you are, Emblem. Emblem? Ha! <laughs> em 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 Elm Blossom. And Vine for pregnant is feeling lazy. I love him so much. <laughs> I love him. He is he is very messed up, and I love him very much. What an icon! Oh, I know, Wisteria right? Paws, Wisteria Paws crush on Bite for went away. <laughs> oh, I guess that's understandable. It was puppy love. Right back. 
Okay, events. Okay, I'm gonna send cats out on patrol. I'm gonna make sure it's all the main characters. Because we want to make sure things happen with them. They go on patrol. Uh, promised rain never comes. Okay, that makes sense. Hammer throat. When I am. Okay, they go on patrol. More medicine cat stuff. Not much I'd say noted. I'm going to look at relationships, and then I think we're done. I think so. Let me just put some notes in and take them on patrol, and then I'll be done, too. Aww. Note of apricot tails crush. No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Basil Paw's feelings for Whistle Paw have not changed. The boy is, <laughs> sir, is down bad. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put Tumble Strike and Bow Star on a patrol together. Because mm -hmm. I ship that more so than other things. Oh shoot! Frog, uh, Fog Scar's relationship with Shimmering Throat in comfortability went down. Ooh. Medicine Cat drama. Okay. Cool. I'm going to save. And I think I'm ready when you are to say our uh, final closing words and do kind of like a, a sort of closing out statement. Yeah. I'm finishing up my patrols. It's nothing interesting. It's mostly just hunting and stuff. Oh! Wait, we forgot we have to kill one cat at ten minutes. Oh, you're right. We're, we're we forgot late, that. But... There is going to be a death at the end of the book. Yep, yep. When you're done your patrols, we will do the number gen. All right. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cats. So I really gotta, I gotta force a relationship to happen because. We need some kids. I have been trying. I agree with you. Okay. I have nine cats. Ooh, this okay. death is going to be huge. Yep. All right, I've got my number generator ready. We shall see who dies in Moon 11. Okay, Moon 11. Three, two, one, go. No! Devastating. Who was it? Tumble strike! No! The cinnamon roll, the object of everyone's affections! But the Babu died! No! The one good boy! No! That was also my one option for a relationship. Ah! <laughs> it's so, so unfortunate! Sorry. I'm so sorry, Tumble strike. Farewell. Oh. So for me, it's my elder, Ogscar, oh. who was having bad relationship with, who, whose um, comfort level with the medicine cat went down. Now, Narspaw did find some death fairies, and I've been waiting for something to make that a plot point. And I think this might be it. I think Narspaw, being tormented by the elder, snapped and poisoned him. Oh my gosh. I would agree with that. Oh, okay, did, I'm gonna did, write did, that down. I can't remember. Chat, does anyone remember? Uh, well, I, I guess I can code check. Was it this moon that Rowan Whistle died? It was. Tumble Strike died in the same cave in as Rowan Whistle. He was trying oh. to save him. Oh shit! Two people died. <laughs> Sorry for swearing, but holy crap! Okay, so um. Uh, Nar Save Pelt tormented by her dead mentor Mole Moon and at her wit's end, um, loses sight of her, um, um, 
snaps when Elder Fog Scar um keeps calling her a traitor and poison his food Ooh. with the death berries she found. Welcome back, Tiny Draws! Uh, I am making it so Nurse Pelt poisoned- Yeah! Yeah! Fogtail died! Or, Fog- Fog, um... Fogscar died. It's okay, because it feeds into the story. Nurse Pelt, tormented by her dead mentor, Mole Moon, uh, at her wit's end, snaps when the elder Fogscar keeps calling her a traitor and poisons his food with death berries she found earlier. Oh, Nurse Pelt! Nurse Pelt! Heck! Um, her uh, adopted mother, uh, shimmering throat, the medicine cat is concerned about her well being, but has no idea how far the pain goes. Oh, both this this is a tough end of the book for Bo Star, because not yeah! only did he lose his father figure and mentor, he also lost the cat he loved. Oh my god, that is so sad. This is horrific, and it's in winter too. That just makes the the. That just makes the uh, the ambiance so much sadder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nurse Pelt has turned into quite the interesting character. Yeah, they have. Here we go. All right, yeah, I'm all saved. I think we are. We are all set. Yeah, I'm just gonna make one last thing, but I can do that off stream. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. What a way to wrap up stream, isn't that right, Rook? Right? Like, what What a heckin' end. We've had t love triangles, we've had murder, we've had coups, we've had f uh, enemies to friends. Yeah, this is we've incredible. Yeah, like, and between both clans, like, as much as there wasn't a lot of overlap, the overlap we did have was incredible. Right? Like, right out the gate, there was so much overlap, and then it kind of had less over time, but... Yeah, really well, stuff. I think the constant haunting between each clan, I think, is a really good connection thread. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And eventually, if eventually, hopefully, hopefully, uh, if our random luck gets good, it would be neat um, if... Um, no, not everyone's alive. Oh, Spinda, you came too late, my friend. We are literally just ending. Um... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby, I don't know if you're joking. Wow, everyone's alive. Um, Tiny Draws says we must avenge the pink cat. So yeah, guys, if you're interested, go subscribe to Rook. Rook is an amazing story writer and storyboard artist and uh, is such an inspiration to me. Um, and I really appreciate that she took the time to do this live stream with us. Um, so go check out her channel. Please consider subscribing to mine if you haven't already from Rook's side of the, the, the pond. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you for joining us. Rook. Yeah, everyone, everyone subscribe to Galaxy. They're super cool, and I love them. Alrighty. See you folks later. Bye.